<laughs> My Garito Podcast Network presents El chiquito, güey. <laughs> no, that was really. Le si le van a bautizar el chiquito. Explain what that means, güey. To people mm. that don't understand what, what you're saying, what does that mean? There's people that listen to it's, that don't speak Spanish, bro. So it's a play in words. So what are you trying to say? All right. Well, if you're trying, like, <laughs> what you're saying is if you're gonna baptize your little one, right? I know it's el chiquito, but the double entendre or the me the the pun behind that is that in español. El chiquito could also be the butthole. Yeah. So, so you know. So baptize the butthole is basically. Yeah, what I mean, it depends how you're taking it. Yeah. Do they do, they do that in Hong Kong? So it's a, <laughs> it's a celebration. Yeah, it's a celebration. So we can play for people to get their butthole baptized. <laughs> oh, shit. El, por la señal de la Santa Cruz. <laughs> Damn, bro. He's so clever. Hey, Ramon, before we started, he was telling me some fucking stories of the Bible that were really interesting. Man. <laughs> oh, shit. He was fucking preaching, no? Yeah, now you're saying that Jesus got invited to a dinner and his friends fucking turned his, got him drunk. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jesus got a little buzz and said, hey, what? check this out. I can turn water into wine. <laughs> and then they all got fucked up and then his homies turned on him. Is what yeah, Ramon said. and then the, the, so owner, the, dinero, the owner of the inn is all like, you know, he got there like, hey, what am ¿Qué les voy a servir? ¿Qué quieren, compas? ¿Quieren algo, un vinito? Like, no, no, we'll just stick to water. The, the, the way the story started is because he, he commented on my jacket because it's got like, um, it's got like a little furry, really fucking soft, 
uh, oh, yeah. neck lining. And he's like, hey, does that bug your neck? I was like, nah, bro. It feels like Jesus is giving you a hug. And then we're like, wait, but he was a carpenter. So he probably had like oh, right, fucking rough, rough hands. hands. <laughs> <laughs> Matted hair. <laughs> a little musty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, pinchicayo todo madreado. Yeah, we're just, he must have been missing a finger or two, bro. I mean, <laughs> and I mean, I mean, I, yeah, they were, hygienically wise, it was. I wouldn't there. trust a cu- carpenter that's not missing a, a fucking uh, tip or something. Yeah. yeah, but they didn't have table saws in aquel entonces. That's true, no, pero yeah. sí tenía los dedos machucados. Remember las ah, uñas sí. negras? Yeah. yeah Tanto sí. pinche martillar. He lost a few nails, right? Yeah, definitely. And then what and else? Then, and then we said, we were like, he got, he got tired of working for the family business. And he said, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm going <laughs> to <I'm gonna, laughs> <I'm gonna, laughs> <laughs> juntar a mi, a los and I'm, we're just going <laughs> to party it up. Eh? I, I, I'm, I'm seeing more to life than just fucking working for the family. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can turn water into wine. Yeah, what the fuck am I, I wasting my time here making fucking chairs? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> and that's how it started. No pagan bien. There's no insurance. No benefits. Win. No benefits. My PTO got canceled. Yeah, they don't fucking, they don't celebrate any holidays. Yeah. I always have to work. <laughs> Look, this guy's not even my real dad. He's fucking <laughs> bossing me around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so he got, he got, he got associated with the wrong crowd that invited him to a last, <laughs> last supper, they called it. <laughs> yeah. But then I was telling uh, Esteban about like, yeah, he partied for like good three hard years, you know? Yeah. Um, and I'm like, he died at 33. He's like, what? I'm like, oh, hey, is that where you're getting 33? And then I asked him, hey, if Jesus had an account on Etsy, would you buy some of his wooden fucking <laughs> craftsmen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, this is what we talk about before we start recording. <laughs> this is what we're setting up, right? What we're setting up, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, we just fucking it tail spins from there, oh, man. Oh man, yeah, it was a good conversation. Yeah, <clears throat> so I mean, you know, like pinche Judas, and then from Judas we started going into <laughs> fucking all the random shit. Yeah, we got into comedians beefing with each other. We got into fucking who, who you know, like bands like El Ste, Dave Mustaine. Dave Mustaine still bitter with fucking <laughs> Metallica. Metallica. Yeah, like wait. Come on, let it go. Away. You, you're in the, one of the biggest fucking metal bands ever. Yeah, well, it's it's crazy because you guys were telling me about Paul Rodriguez fucking beefing, no? Like, you guys no, no, saying, not beefing. He was like, uh, <clears throat> he was going on a little rant. Yeah, way. going on a little rant, but then it got a little sad because he was like crying. I'm all like, oh man, poor he's guy. upset at George Lopez. Yeah, he was upset because George Lopez says some things about him, and este and Paul Rodriguez is just like, you know what? Enough is enough. Mm. You know, I you yeah I know how you are. I know what kind of person you're, but enough is enough, dude. Fucking, you're saying all this shit that supposedly that I did this to you, and it was in a presentation. So there's got to be videos. There's got to be some film or something on it. Show it to me. It didn't fucking happen. Yeah, yeah. Everything gets filmed. It's like the Rogan thing with Mencia. Somebody filmed that. Yeah. That little fucking incident on stage, but. It's like an old school fucking comedian mindset, though, right? We were just talking about that, too. How, like, I think a lot of the younger comedians understand the market and they're like, we have to work with each other, way because those guys that came out in the 90s, late 80s, or whatever, it was still like a one slot. Everybody wanted that one slot. It was like more of a scarcity mindset, no? Yeah. Now there's like, dude, you don't, I mean, <coughs> I think it hurts your career if you fucking side with a, with a team right now. Yeah, there's <coughs> like, a, there's a bunch, I've, I've seen like a lot of, like, um, I don't know what would you call them influencers, TikTokers, or or what. But I see that all these uh, all these funny people are doing these little videos and they're doing shows. They're like you know they're they're comedians. I mean they but might not do stand up, but they're comedians. They're not considered it's comedians. Not the same way. They're yeah. not considered. They're not con- they, the the actual comedians like stand up guys. They don't they don't think that these guys. That it translates properly, way because I mean I get what they're saying though. Way it might it might translate on the, on the screen, but that in the club and the venue that that it doesn't hit as right yeah. the same way, well, bro. They, they, they told us way that the, the vatos that, that that go from that to try to do the the stand up that they, they don't do well. Way. I mean I get it's a it's like a comedic act, but I don't know. If well, there's there's comedy and then there's a what como está la skit comedy. No, there, like there's there's a comedian and there's a what's the other one like a. There's two like names way like if you're like on a sitcom pues on a comedy sitcom mm-hmm. tiene un nombre and if you're stand up tiene otro nombre I can tell yeah. you what it was the fuck. But that's that's the beef that they have too where it's like those those TikTok and YouTube guys are booking like like little improv venues and shit like that and, and they're selling out but the according to like the guys that do stand up it doesn't translate the same way. I mean, but I mean, there's gotta be like. 
not every stand-up comedian could be an actor, right? No. That's why yeah, and not every actor can be a stand-up comedian. Mm-hmm. But in, in in the realm, they're both comedians. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. They're both not <laughs> comedians. Wait. I there's mean, two, it's, there's two it's separate a, words. It's definitely a debate to have, though, because I get what Ramon's saying. Where I mean, uh, it's Seinfeld. Seinfeld's a stand-up comedian, but he's also a, a, an actor. An actor. He, he made that cross, but yeah, yeah. He made but that not, cross, but, yeah, it, but it, it was first. Things. It was first a stand-up. Like the comedy, pues, is una cosa that comedy, like the fucking sitcom comedy or the TV or acting or movie, whatever, is one type of comedy, pues. It, not the same as a stand-up was. But I think, I think in the 80s and the early 90s, maybe even into the mid-90s because of the Tim Allens and all the shit we had in the mid to late 90s, I think a, a stand-up comedian's end goal a lot of the times was to get into a sitcom. Like, you had to... I mean, That's how you, you recognize that you did it, right? But, like, obviously there's, com- yeah, obviously there's comedians that never went that route and are super successful that were in those days. But some of these guys, like, even I think George Lopez, because I've heard him, like, we talked about this, too, when he was uh, interviewing Frankie uh, Quinones on, the, on his podcast, the Oh My God High. I think George has a little bit of an old school mindset. He was telling Frankie that he needs a sitcom. And, and it's funny because Fernando pointed out that he was promoting his show that's on Hulu. Yeah. But George Lopez, I think sometimes he's just, I don't, it's, it's like a older boomer thing where it's like you think that your way works, but it doesn't work anymore like that where I'm not, I'm not saying that, that these guys, sh- I'm not telling them that they shouldn't pursue their dreams. Right? But what I'm saying is like, you don't need a sitcom right now to like, really, to make it, to make it like quote unquote, make it like in those days, it was like, oh, I had Seinfeld, like, oh, I want to be like that, that Tim Allen, Home Improvement. Oh, these guys are making fucking millions on a TV show, <clears throat> so it's like a thing to do it. But I don't, I don't think we're in that <clears throat> that uh, climate anymore. Yeah, because um, there's there, there's stand up timing, and then there's like sitcom timing, or or or, come on, they go fucking script timing, you know? Because there's some, you know, there, there might be some funny ass stand up comedians, but when it comes down to acting, it's the timing and working with others or, or other people that it, it's it sometimes doesn't vibe. It doesn't. It doesn't connect. It doesn't translate well, and it just it, it looks like fucking stiff or like ah. It's so what, what do you call the SNL guys for any like if they're not comedians? What they're are they? Skit comedians. Those guys. I think those guys are it, could, it's, could be a little bit closer, pues, to to the the maybe because because I mean, it's like, like an improv thing, right? Yeah, it's like an improv thing. So you learn timing and stuff. Like an actor, pues, is an actor way. Like if if he can have as long as he has that comedic timing. Like he Robin can, he can do com- yeah, he can do comedy, pues, mm. but it doesn't mean he can go up on a stage and do stand up, pues. Yeah, that, it doesn't. It's different. I don't, I don't think that it, I don't think that that transition is easy to go from actor to stand up as it is to go from from like a stand up to to having your show. Como he says, like you, you know, you already know how to write the joke. Told as matters the other one, you're acting the joke, pues. Is there, has there ever been a, a successful actor or actress that started off acting and then ended up? Killing it in comedy. I don't think there's ever been one, right? I mean, I'm sure there might have been one way. But I it's mean, usually, a, a usually, lot of stand-up comedians that go into acting. Right? It goes they, the other they, way mostly. Yeah, it's mostly the because I, I think there's something about being on the road and fucking bombing and and because if you're in the show, like you 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 read lines, you read lines that are written for you, and then sometimes they have a laughing track in the back or like they have a hype person. And if, if they used to do it like back in the day where they had a studio audience. There was a hype person with a fucking sign saying to laugh. And if you fucking in the trenches, way, if you're not funny, you're not funny, way. You get immediate feedback. And I think that that grid kind of helps you um, kind of translate it into like the, the the big scream. I'm not saying that every comedian is a good actor because, I mean, I'm not going to put anybody on blast, but we've seen we've seen shows where it doesn't translate. It's like, dude, just stay in your lane, bro. Like, I get you want to do everything, but or take some classes. Maybe it's something that you can somebody can teach you, way. But I just think it's kind of sad way to see these older dudes kind of bittering, bickering about shit. It's like, wait, I mean, you guys already made your mark, way. Like, <clears throat> I don't think it helps the community to see fucking older dudes still bitter about shit, way. Well, we're here for the cheese, man, bro. No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely for the cheese, man. Of course. Yeah, bro. and I was watching that, and I'm all like, oh man, that's. I mean, I saw that little clip on the Felipe Esparza, um um, IG account And I'm all like what, what is this And I'm all like And I couldn't tell at first Because I think Paul, Well no I don't think mask. Paul Rodriguez is wearing a mask Right <clears throat> And I'm like What the fuck And I'm looking at this And, and then I hear him I'm like Oh that's Paul And then I start reading and I'm like Oh it's Paul Rodriguez And then Well he's sick Or just because of the no, COVID Well he says that He's going through Some health problems right now So he's just being very careful 
Oh, being shit. cautious, I think. Yeah, he's being cautious. How old is he now? Oh, shit. Is that in the 70s? 70s? Oh, 70s, yeah? yeah, yeah probably. Man. You want to know? Dude. Know what's yeah. cool you talk about it. It's like, fuck, where time, like, the, right? the, the dudes from the Red Hot Chili Peppers are in their 60s already, wait. Mm -hmm. Like, that was the band that we grew up with in the 90s, and Anthony Kida is fucking good-looking fucking young dude, always fucking ripped. Oh, ripped, yeah. yeah. And it's like, damn, all the chicks wanted him and all this shit. <laughs> and to think that these guys are in their 60s now. Yeah. <laughs> and they still, the chicks still want them. Yeah. yeah. El, El Power Drink is 67 wins. 67. 67. All right. Damn, Jeez. bro. He's almost in his 70s, man. Yeah, ya va llegando. Está tocando, güey. How old is George Lopez, where? He's got to be up there, too, where? Man, he's in the 60s, man. You think he's in the 60s? Like, yeah, yeah, of course he's in the 60s, but yeah. is it like 67? 61, Wayne. Oh, he's yeah. younger. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so, Paul Rodgers... Somehow, 60, 61 doesn't sound as bad as 67, somehow, no? And it's six years, right? It's, it's <laughs> know, pretty much the same kinda, shit. Yeah. Ta cabrón, Wayne. Yeah. I mean, it, it may... Well, so, was Paul Rodriguez like the like the already like famous and when George was coming up and he kind of gave yeah, him that, so, that treatment that... Isn't that what every comedian goes through, though? Like a little hazy? I'm sure, yeah. But George Lopez took it more personal? Well, I mean... I I mean, with the stories that George Lopez, uh, because of I've mm -hmm. I've heard him I've heard him on his podcast. I mean, how he talked about Paul Rodriguez, and I think one of the there was um, several incidents where supposedly or allegedly, it's the Paul Rodriguez humiliated George Lopez. But it's like a hazing thing, right? I think so. But I mean, there's hazing to like fucking belittling, you know. But it, I mean, you hear stories from Mencia, and he even uh, confirms that he was a fucking dick. But but I think. I mean, I'm not a stand-up comedian, but what I've heard is, like, that's part of the process, way, right? Like, you start, you have to earn your stripes. There's people that take your spot. You do, like, a showcase, like, at the fucking comedy store, and then you invite all your family, and then Mencia shows up and says, fuck your time, fuck your schedule. I'm just going to go wanna, on for two hours. Up, yeah, I want to go up there and do, you know, and I'm going to do your, lot, your, and, your time. And apparently that's the kind of shit that you have to accept and until you earn. It's like a hazing thing, right? I mean, it's, you can't take that personal. I mean, I... I if the stories are true, pues, suppose if if the story at least the one uh, that, that all the, I think the one that started the little beef with, but about the fucking guy, he he just called him up to give him like his jacket with like a coat boy. Yeah, mm. that eso es diferente pues than taking your slot pues you know mm. that that's como dices este way now you're. Que almost like a bully, boy. You're, you're, you're being a dick. You're humiliating. You're not hazing. You're humiliating. El otro way, pues, is showing up and it's like fucking using his his his, his name, whatever, to fucking bump you. But, like, did, did George use that and say, you know what, I'm not going to be like that? Or did he also do that to comics nah, coming I up? No, this is I, otra yeah, question. I, I, mean, I mean, that's... that's. I mean, I'm, so... What, we're not in the in the scene, right? We're no. not we're not in the fucking stand up we comedy like cheese scene. Man, we like the cheese man. <laughs> we hear the cheese man. Because yeah, I don't see another reason why we're talking about it with Pedro. We love the, the cheese man. The cheese man's good. And and the thing is that like yeah, the uh, George Lopez is not an easy person to to work with apparently. Not that or don't expect favors or don't expect for George to help you come up. Is that, that that's not the same as hard work with though. No, because I, I, but example when he was doing the Kings of Comedy tour. There's another comedian that says, I'm a Juan something. Juan. Oh, shit. Uh, and, and he's talking Ramon about. Ramon Facts are coming in. No, no, no. I, I, Juan. I forget. He's him. throwing names, too. His name is Juan. Well, first no, names. because it's on his on his account, you know, so it's it's public. Oh, it's a public yeah, story? it's a public story. Oh, okay. And he's telling a story where I think Cedric, the entertainer, called up Juan and he said, hey, man, I want to bring you on this tour because I get like, fuck yeah, dude. He's not like, hey, but wait a minute. Is it okay? Is it okay? Because you still... You still have George, or is George no longer? Oh no, George isn't doing this. It's not like ah, uh, you know what? Talk to George first before I start making changes or arrangements or whatever. Like nah, man, it should be cool. Like oh, talk to him first because what I know, he doesn't like sharing the stage with another brown uh, comedian or another Latino comedian with, on, on wherever he's doing. I'll get back to you. Yeah, yeah. Al rato le habla. He's like, hey man, you know what? I'm sorry, but you're right. They're like, hey, no hard feelings. I know that's just the way he is. So he wants to be the only, like, yeah. Chicano. Well, I, I think it goes back to what you're saying, that mentality, that scarcity. Mm -hmm. Like, there was almost por decir, um, ¿cómo se llama? The college, the, the fucking, the quotas or whatever. The, like, they, they, like, they would only take, okay, we need one fucking Latino to to fill the Latino spot, pues. And it was that, like that scarcity mentality you're saying. I have to be that oh, fucking Latino. Um, if he si este way fucking I help him out, then he might take my Latino might take, spot. Yeah, yeah. 
¿Me entiendes? Like, no. there could only be the, the one Latino at a time, yeah. the one fucking... That worked in the 90s, right? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, pues, ¿cómo se llama el pinche, like, in the colleges, no? The eco opportunity shit. It's right there on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, también. Well, that's what I'm saying there. I'm, I'm sure that was a thing, pues, so... Yeah, it's part of your saying. You're right. Equal, no, not equal. The, the scarcity mentality. Pues, okay, I got that spot. I need to fucking keep that spot. So, I mean, and these guys are in their 60s, 70s. Right? Good luck changing fucking. You try to change people's perspective in their 20s. Right? Just imagine fucking a dude that's almost 70. Good luck. Right? You're not going to change these people the way they think. They're already stubborn, bro. They they have success. They're They're like, this shows you. This shows you that my 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 plan worked and the way I did it worked. Not no not think not even realizing that. Wait, you're still bitter though. Like what really worked for you? If you're fucking all this success and you're almost 70 and you're still bitter about shit that's like stupid, like <laughs> how much <laughs> That's where the uh, Mustaine fucking uh, story came in the, the mega death But is that really, I mean to me That's not success right? I don't care how much Fucking money you have In the bank If you're still Fucking bitter About some old shit And you haven't really Changed the way you think I don't give a fuck How many millions you have right? you, you you wasted an opportunity To kind of be A different person Where right? So I, I just I mean I, I'm in it For the cheese man too Like you guys right? But I, I still Part of me still Thinks it's that way it's like when when people shit on Biden way and all that. I mean, I don't agree with with like him on a lot of things, but then I see how I mean that's an old guy way. Like we talked this about the the Kanye or Yee, whatever the fuck you want to name this dude. Um, how Ramon, you said something that one of the late night guys was like, "Hey man, like this guy has a serious like Problem. bipolar, and yeah. we're not addressing it." But I think as a society, we don't do that way because, like, even like with Biden, like we shit on Biden for the shit he does and the things he say, which some of it, yeah, I guess it's comic, and it's like, why do you say that? But then if you really think about it, like you're making fun of some fucking old dude that's been through a lot of shit, where like if even if I don't agree with him, like, I think that's fucked up way that as a society we're just. It's I guess it's nitpicking. It's just um, trying to find a I guess a, a not a weakness, but something to fucking make fun of or like yeah, Kamala says you don't agree with him or anything. So I can't do nothing about that, but I can make fun of him for fucking up or for saying this. He has the pinche viejito or like look at this. This is a this is our our leader of the world of our country, que la chingada. Uh, it's it's just I don't know it's but cheap I mean, jabs. You're still shitting on some older dude that had health conditions, and I agree with him or not. I mean, from what I've seen and read, he he was a good dad way. I mean, he was there for his family and all that shit. So he has values way. I mean, the fact that you don't agree with him doesn't mean that you need to shit on him. And I feel the same way about the other side. I mean, I wasn't a fan of Trump and, and any of that shit, but. It's still a fucking old man that's like stubborn as fuck, way. Like I just I just don't think we should like really I don't think when it comes to like older people like that way, we should really like There's shit underlying them. concerns, definitely. And how do you think like how how would we have compassion for like somebody like Kanye West or Britney Spears when they're rich, they're famous? We judge them by that too, way. Like, fuck them. There's people that are hurting that need money. Fuck them. Those guys are just fucking wealthy. I don't know if that's a society, too, that we need to be in. I mean, but at the mean, we got to consider the source. It's como se ha dicho, like, you know, like these news outlets or whoever it is, they're coming up with this, and and you're hearing it from, I guess, a third party? Yeah. You're hearing it from a third party, and you're going to go with it. If if the, per, the, the person in question isn't coming out and saying, hey, listen, I, I'm having a nervous breakdown. I'm going through this. Um, just respect or whatever it is i know that we're all human and we all make mistakes and i think this is just my part would you respect that more or would you like fucking you know would you would you enjoy a fucking saturday night live skit on someone breaking down i mean hey, yeah yeah <laughs> no i mean that's, that's, that's the thing it's a society we're in bro i mean and we're part of that society we are part of it yeah, yeah. And, and we love the fucking cheese man i mean i'm like what the f-? i'm looking at this i'm like what is uh, like you know uh, going back to the Sparsa and paul rodriguez i'm looking at what am, what am i watching and not hearing it and i'm all like oh fuck also and the los putazos right and then i go to the next little scene and then towards the end you hear paul rodriguez almost breaking down and crying I'm like oh man pobrecito you know <laughs> I'm all like fuck it, like it, it was sad. I'm all like, ah oh, fuck. I'm all like, I, and and I do feel kind of guilty, like oh fuck, este se va a armar a ver qué contesta 
el, el pinche López o a ver qué pedo. Like, is it... He usually ignores shit, though, no? I never really hear him, like... Well, I mean... Go back and I don't forth. listen to his stuff. His, yeah, uh, I don't really listen to, to his, his podcast. podcast too much, so... Unless there's it. someone that I, that I, like, uh, I started listening to the... I, I, I love the, the episode where uh, Willie Barson I was on, the comedian. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that was a good one right there. Because, you know, I think w Willie also points out to a lot of stuff to, to, to George Lopez. He's like, hey, you know, you've, you've been this type of person. And I remember coming up to you t for advice. And sometimes we'll chit-chat and everything. But you, you have this, you, you have this uh, fame already. You have this. It already, you have this <clears throat> there's already this. People know it. Yeah, there's perspective about you, you know? And so I, I went in, you know, kind of like... A little, like... Yeah, but, you know, I still, you know, whenever you gave me advice or anything, I took it and I and I listened on it. But, you know, it's... Being a stand-up comedian, yeah, you have to be tough. And sometimes, you know, I was, like, very um, strict with other comedians también. George was saying this? No, it's the Willie, Willie Barcena. Oh. Yeah, George and no, George doesn't really get into details. He's just like, yeah, fuck yeah, I want to do this or like, you know what, fuck that. Nobody did this for me. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, all right, it's just that. I don't know if that's a good attitude either. But it's way. not. Where the, the 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 one of the, the persons that I think we have that's like a fucking model like that was like I think figured it out is is um it's fucking um este way fuck cómo se llama este way fucking it's on the tip of my tongue way super fuck, it's famous day. That's a, super what? famous fucking dude way um este uh Danny Trejo mm. oh Danny Trejo has been successful for a long time but it's super generous fucking dude way like he'll help fucking people around him like I think that's the right attitude way I mean I don't know I don't know if I agree with like the way George Lopez and uh, well at have least you, that comment pues que no one did it for me so yeah. what the fuck have you read uh, Danny Trejo's book no I haven't it's dude good. it's a good fucking book is it yeah uh, it's like he's you know he doesn't glorify his his time in prison and and you know when you read it like oh fuck yeah dude like yeah that's you you read it and at towards the end it's like fuck you, you know you realize danny trejo is just a simple man with a big heart that with his fame he's really like Try to share it, you know. That's what he's saying. Not, yeah. not, not to say that George Lopez and these guys never been through shit, but I think what what Danny Trejo went through, as far as like going into the prison systems and and kind of going that, I mean, Danny Trejo has both perspectives. Way he's had the perspective of struggling in a rough neighborhood, being in the system, and also in his later years, mid to later years, being super fucking successful and wealthy. So I think he has he has the right balance of like knowing. I'm not saying that George Lopez and these guys never never been through. Shit, but either. not the Danny Trejo railway. I think yeah. Danny Trejo really understands. Like, wait, what I have is a fucking blessing, dude. And he recognizes it. And he, every day, he fucking he he gives thanks and he shows the community. He hops out. He still goes to meetings. Yeah. Every fucking day he goes to meetings. He has um people that he met in in prison and that were part of his um también the that were in the meetings or he he they live with him. Yeah. También, you know, and he even says that, like, I grew up in a very much mach machista environment. It's like, you know, it was this. I've he's like, I'm not proud of it, but I've never been a fair of I've never been fair with my my partners. And I said, like, you know, tienes uno en la casa y uno en la calle. But with Danny, it was uno en la casa y tres o cuatro en la calle. Yeah. So he's like, I did a lot of terrible things. And, you know, it, it's it's a good book. I, I my sister got it for me. She got it for me. And I read it, and yeah, man, yeah, I think it, uh, I'm going to start it again, mm -hmm. anyway, just because it's really good. And it's like there's a lot of little details in it, and it's just uh, he. When I read it, I felt good at the end. When I finished it, and it's one of those because I, I wanted to take my time with it. Mm. You know, like ah, I read it. And I'm like, okay, I can't. I finish a chapter. I'm like, okay, let me savor this, and yeah, let me wait, think about. Or we could take my no, time with it's, this. It's just it's a good <laughs> read. It's like it's giving fucking prison recipes or what's going on with <laughs> normally <laughs> normally taking notes. Normally with uh with series on TVs, I want to go through it in one shot. I want to binge watch binge watching. Yeah. And uh, with books, I'm not a binge reader. You know. I like to like you know take it in and if I have the public school system run. No, 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 no. It's just he's, like he's more of a visual guy. Yeah, <laughs> but not only is. that. But when I'm reading it, like I like to think about it too, and I'm like, oh shit, you know, there's a lot of good stuff too. And then not only that, but then I'll pause and then you know I'm like, dude, this is this is really fucking motivating. This is really mm -hmm. good. It's a good read. 
Yeah, no, that, that I think that's one of the only dudes that I've seen that the older guys that's a little bit Get more. Like, yeah, wait, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm sure there's other ones, but um, that that, that, that yeah. attitude, like you're saying, that line, okay, fucking, because no one did it for me, type of. At at some point, you want to. I mean, as a person, especially, you want to surpass that. No, okay. Okay, if it didn't happen for me, I'm gonna make it happen for someone else. Type of shit. You know? I mean, these are the guys that say they're self-made. Wait, those those that oh, attitude. Oh, that that's yeah. self-made. That attitude that nobody did it for me. It's like wait, and then you look at their fucking uh, their 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 payroll. They got a PR person, marketing. They got a fucking a social media person. They got a booker. They got a tour manager, and they they're still preaching that nobody did Self-made. it for me. Wait. Well, about this fucking <laughs> tipo, come back to your company. I don't need anybody. Your compa so Trump, stupid, que también self made, pero. Nah, wey. Like when you start already fucking con los millones, wey. That's not self made. ¿Qué pasa, wey? Your compa, wey. <laughs> no, wey. I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm not going to jump I don't subscribe. I don't subscribe to none of that shit, wey. You know who's another <laughs> también que, que does a lot good and I've seen it? Well, Emilio Rivera. Is another yeah yeah I've seen him too post a lot of yeah, shit you know and so it's just like because he does a lot of stuff for charities también for kids for for people like in hospitals and a, a lot of stuff he does a lot of good stuff también yeah wait that's why to me it's it's just it's just fucking like to see like millionaires bitter, bitter, bicker about shit that happened a long time ago it's like wait what <laughs> like really wait like shit there's a lot of shit that's going on in the fucking community right now where you guys are fighting over some dumb shit. I don't know, way. I don't know, bro. I mean, it's just money doesn't translate to success, way. That's what people don't realize. It helps. Don't get me wrong, way. I love fucking making money. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it doesn't translate to success, yeah. It, it, but it amplifies what you are. If you're a piece of shit before money, you're going to be a bigger piece of shit with it. But if you're a nice person and you kind of semi-fucking have values, it's just going to amplify that too, way. I mean, it's just it's just what it is, bro. But um, I don't know, way. This is the way it's needed. Just shut the fuck up, way. Just, just go to the <laughs> casino, way. Just live off of your fucking money, bro. <laughs> really, way. <laughs> you know, it's just so me so triste. It's all. That's that was my whole thing. I'm like, pobrecito, Paul. I mean, who knows? He might have been an asshole. You know, who you know, growing up or doing his thing when he was big, he might have been. You know, like uh, como this is like fucking um, uh, hazing other comedians, trying to show him the ropes. Or like, hey, this is part of the. You know, you're getting into, it's a, uh, you're getting into a, not a brotherhood, but you're getting into a community yeah. where it's like, we're comedians and we're going to fucking. I mean, people sleep on Paul, but he's one of the goats, way. The, the what? People sleep on Paul Rodriguez. They, they just think that he's just, because he's not relevant anymore, way, really. They sleep on him not knowing that that guy in his time was like, he was like, like, you know, it was one of those big dudes where like that people don't really like consider that. That they should respect him like that. Right? Paul Rodriguez also had like a late night show. Yeah, he no, did. He had his time, uh, boys. Yeah, yeah, no, he, he has his time, boy. I don't know. I don't know that he's a has the fucking um, George Lopez money, pues, pero but he had his moment. I mean, when he fucking mm-hmm. where he was big, one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hasta cabrón, we. Pinche millionaires bickering. <laughs> it's it's. I don't know. It, I think at some point it's. it's yeah, como dices, it's a little sad. It's a little sad. That they're still fucking bickering with this shit. And it's like, what is it? Is it, I mean, cultural? Like, you know, the machismo? Like, hey, why, you know, fucking, no me voy a dejar de este cabrón? Yeah, well, that has something to do with it, way. I mean, we come from that same culture, way. Yeah. Look, look at all we, what the shit we deal with, way. All the time, where there's people always has an opinion of how we live our lives and all this shit. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not immune to that, way. Like... But I have awareness of it, where I know that I need to change that for myself. And people don't realize that they have those issues, where they just they just think it's just part of being a fucking Latino or a Chicano, where. Because um, I see it, where people it's in our climate, way. I mean, I don't think we really subscribe to it. Uh, contrary to what some people might think that, like we say things that are like fucking little like uh come say say way like we're we're, we're like the, me specifically we like I, I i say things for like to k- get like a reaction which i'm not really into that way like if you notice our, our instagram page way we don't really post way we we talk about certain things sometimes but we're not chasing like that that in the moment kind of like this is what people want to talk about so let me throw that in there and fucking upset everybody i don't think we're like that way and and we live in a culture where Unfortunately, that's what you need to do to quote unquote yeah. be successful, and 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 get like a blue check mark on your Instagram. Is you got to spread all this shit with. Pues ya, ya ves, güey, cuando pasó. Yeah, I, I think. It, I mean, 
cuando pasó todo all the fucking shit you're saying with the fucking Kanye or Ye or whatever, como se quiera decir ese güey. Fuck, everybody was riding those fucking coattails, bro. <laughs> I saw a fucking podcast doing like two, three episodes, way on fucking, like, you know, it was going on for a while, way. Yeah, that's okay. Like me and Ramon talked about it in the fucking like the right area, so yeah. But on purpose, like this, there's no why is like everything was fucking everything was about that way, and everybody was writing those fucking yeah for the numbers, como dices, way. Yeah. So you have to, I mean, like the post, you have to put if something comes up, you have to oh, tienes que poner el pinche about you got to jump on that fucking train, you know. And it's fucking it's a lot of hypocrite shit, way. Because I saw I saw this dude uh, Ben Shapiro on the Lex Freeman podcast. He's one yeah. of those like conservative voices that yeah, I think people know who he is. He's some big, people he's don't. Big. Some people don't. Wait. He's one of those like conservative voices that's always like talking about like he's pro life, all that conservative shit. And he was on the Lex Freeman podcast t talking about uh, the Kanye West thing because he said something about the the Jews and all this shit. And that's all the hypocrisy in these people, way. Like, that's why I try to stay neutral, way. But, like, Ben Shapiro, way, he's one of those dudes that if, if you want to be um, labeled a certain gender or referred to by they, a pronoun or whatever, he'll, he'll be opposed to that. Like, he'll say, like, no, you're a fucking man or whatever. Which I understand that perspective, way. You're a conservative. But in this podcast, he freely was referring to Kanye West as ye. So I'm thinking, like, wait. That's that sounds stupid to me that this dude's Kanye, and not, all of a sudden everybody gets a memo that he wants to be referred to by Yi. No, he changed his name, Wayne. But that's what I'm saying, yeah. though, Wayne. But like, so I mean, that's not, I don't know if that. Well, okay. but what I'm saying is like, I'll, even if he changed his name, it's like you're now all of a sudden like referring to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and you don't want to refer to those people by they. They change their name and you don't acknowledge that. You don't like acknowledge it. that. But yeah. to give views, to talk about Kanye, to have him on your podcast, you sign that fucking thing and say, yeah, I'll refer to him by yay or ye, whatever the fuck. Whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah, whatever he wants. Yeah, just bring him on. But then you're a hypocrite because like these people, all they want for you to do the same thing. But... Ye doesn't doesn't uh, affect your quote unquote religious beliefs, which is what it's all about. Like them being fucking male or female, that has nothing to do with anything. Like you're just being bitter because it it doesn't align with your religious values. But to me, it's the hypocrisy with that this fucking guy. You'll sign the the thing saying you won't call him Kanye in the interview. It's fine. Oh, he changed his name, even if it's legally done. <laughs> That's fine. He's ye now. Yeah, ye. But yeah. the other people, it's like, no, and I'm like, eh, you guys are fucking hypocrites, they, dude. They, they legally changed their name, too, but that's a no way. That's, that's a, a no, because they're not giving yeah. them the 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 the, the views yeah. that having, quote, unquote, ye, which to me sounds ridiculous, to fucking all <laughs> of a sudden, oh, and I'm sure they signed a fucking agreement that they're not going to call him Kanye during the conversation. He gets mad in those interviews. He was getting mad when people call him Kanye, way. But isn't that the same thing as mis, it, quote, unquote, you're, misgendering you're somebody? Yeah, you're, you're 100% porque también se cambia el nombre fucking legally, way. So where's the, what's the, what are we doing here, way? Like, Pero es, es que esos ways también, like even the Ben Shapiro, way, que you're like, even like when you start saying he's like one of those pro-life dudes, yeah. he's Jewish. Yeah. He's Jewish and he puts all these Christian beliefs up, way. Yeah. Like like that, way. Like I, my understanding is que in the Jewish faith, pues, no hay pedo with abortion. Yeah. It's not the same as the Christianity, way. You know, so but he he still f fucking fights hard, get fucking pro life, get pinchy. It's not moral, but in his religion, it, it's fine. So it's see, like he picks that. he picks his little yeah. like battles for the yeah for the well. I mean, that's why he's so big, way. It también that Kanye thing empezó porque that that girl he was with with the the White Lives Matter shirt. Uh, Candace that, Owens. Yeah, she's on on Ben Shapiro's network. Yeah, the Daily Wire. Yeah, yeah, she just did a movie with him. <laughs> I mean, I, I listen to it because I'm, like, curious to see what people think. But then I, I have to be a, a, a neutral person and point out the hypocrisy. Right? Like, so freely, bro. He was on the last stream and, yeah, ye. Yeah, ye. Ye, 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 ye say ye, this. Ye said that. <laughs> I'm thinking, you're a fucking hypocrite, dude. Like, you're doing the fucking <laughs> shit that you're bitching about. But but then it tells you, like, it has nothing to do with, with their labels. For any, it has to do with them, their religious beliefs. It's a bank beliefs. account, though. It's a bank account. Porque, como I was telling Ramon, one, uh, one time in one of those drives, which we, we did talk about in the drives, okay, that, 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 that uh, Candace Owens, no? That, that, that she fucking wrapped that, the fucking Kanye or Yee around her finger tan chingon. Que she got him saying all the shit she says and all that, da, da, da. Someone, I was hearing someone saying, fucking, uh, just like, tan chingon that she got that dude. She got, 
him to buy the, the that social platform that it, that's owned by her husband or her ex-husband, no sé qué pedo. Like, it, it's a failing little social media thing, and they got him to buy it off them. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> so they had him that chingon wrapped up with. But the, the, that tells you the, the, the magnitude of their beliefs, the way it has nothing to do with, with their pronouns. It has to do more with their religious beliefs. That's what's being attacked, where is in their religious, quote unquote, religious beliefs, there's no room for gay marriage, where there's no room for for having uh, being referred to by another gender. Like none of that shit, really. But uh, that's what I'm saying. It's not even their, their beliefs, way. it's the fucking bank account, porque te digo, like the, like the abortion thing, way. It has nothing to do with this. His his faith is Jewish. He's a he's a Jew boy. He's Jewism, and in there in that one, <laughs> did you say Jewism? Yeah. Jewism. I yeah. did. It's a Jewism. I, 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 I don't want to get canceled. I mean, I'm not a. I don't want to get canceled. I'm not a scripture. I Judaism. I, I'm not a scripture scholar. It's because he wants to but Jewism. Jewism. Jewism is. I don't know. I take it back. I'm gonna flag that one. Jewism. like the Jews. Jewism. I mean. It's Them? <laughs> See, I almost said that. No, but I'm saying it, it, that's when it, it doesn't even have to do with the religion way, porque on other issues, all of a sudden he's Christian way. But religion always nuts and picks like what they But I'm saying know. in his, there's no picking. Yeah. Like they're, my understanding is they're okay. It's not in their, it's not in his wheelhouse of religion. And that, yeah. he, that's a Christian thing. And he, he goes for it porque that's where his people, yeah. his money comes from. Yeah, yeah. And then this, yeah. it, like that, that, that dude, Dude, he, yeah, it's full of contradictions. That guy. It's everybody is the way. I mean, and and to be human is full of contradictions. It's just, I I just think what's lacking is awareness. Way just to know that that's what you're doing. I mean, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying that you have to agree, subscribe to my way of thinking, but just be aware that that's what you're doing. Way like yeah. just be aware that really you're you're playing into the shit. Way like, and and it's like. Yeah, wait, like friendly fucking ye. Oh yeah, ye said this about Jews and ye and ye and ye, and I'm like, oh, right away, bro. Like all of a sudden. Two was even. I mean, even I was. I think when when Noelia was here, the I was, I was saying too. I mean, the estos. I mean, they trip up que 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 la Biblia y que gays and it says this about gays. I go, hey, uh, I go all these battles. I mean, that most of these guys are fucking talking about this. There's a what's the other guy's name? I mean, that comes up. I go. These battles are half the time at least or more, they're divorced. I go in those same lines where they where they talk about the gays, they talk about fucking people that are divorced way. Like if you're divorced, you fall in that same camp way. You're in those same passages as the gays. Burn in yeah. hell. Yeah. So you're divorced and you're talking yeah. shit que pinche gays, que the Bible says. Yeah. Read two passages down, you yeah. start about you being divorced, you yeah. fall in that same camp. Oh, that, that, that's different though, you know. Like I'm, Mantin, is you don't no. are those passages um, the, from I what I remember. Young. Maybe maybe I don't remember as well, Ramon. I asked. Well, they always no, revise. They always quote unquote revise things. Wait. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying they just read the first two cases about the gays, but you go two down and it says, if you're divorced, I mean you're in that you're burning. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, like a bigger fucking. No, I'm going, well, it's a big Bible. Uh, I have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you got the fucking deep sea scrolls. Wait. <laughs> he's got, he's got a, the tablets still. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my stop. Well, the whole gay thing with the religious and what I understand all that way is, is they didn't they didn't like uh like like gay people fucking being together because you can't technically in the sense you can't produce more followers so that's why they wanted a traditional sense, male yeah. female because you're able to produce fucking followers that are going to be part of that cult and if there's two people with the same uh, gender or the same sex or whatever like they can't produce children which they're not going to have more numbers in their religion so from what I understand that was the purpose of them not accepting uh, the gay marriage or, or a gay partnership it's because of that because they couldn't have kids to, to fucking further grow the Christian religion or, or put your religion in the, I mean, in the follow, following the money, yeah, <laughs> Go, I mean, follow just, the money. They were following cloud even back then. Wait. But you tell somebody that, and they they, they always have a, a, a like a rebuttal. It's wait. Procreation. Pues ya, ya I think, como son, wait. It's I, that's what I'm saying. It's all bullshit. Porque even like to me, I, from what I remember, the passages I remember way about even like the that that say que sana quemar los pinche gays, and if it, like mostly they mostly talk about a male. Gay people, no, like the <laughs> he throws pinches gays in the front. Eh? No, but I'm saying, <laughs> I, I like the way they refer to it. I think is more like like male on male stuff. I think, yeah. But el pinche, they're like you read a few lines down, and if you're divorced, you're lumped in that camp way. 
Like you, you broke that vow where you're nah, lumped in that camp. I mean, some of these like Ben Shapiro, like even like Steven <coughs> Crowder, some of these like conservative voices, Candace Owen, like some of these guys, some of the clips that they go, that go viral on like, oh, fucking Ben Shapiro owns fucking liberal. If you really think about it, man, they, they only post clips of like uh, somebody <laughs> that's in their young 20s. Like oh, yeah. they don't have a lot of context about life where and. Mm-hmm. And somebody like Ben Shapiro that that has spent most of his adulthood studying shit and, and being really quick on to answer, he's gonna destroy these people. Wait, but all it takes is for them to they're not gonna ever film this, but all it takes is for them to debate somebody that has a little bit more like emotional intelligence to start poking holes in their perspective as well. Wait, because if you dig deep enough, the way they dig into like the liberals' mindset, they always find holes because we all have holes. Wait, yeah, it's just. They never put themselves out there to be questioned like that way because there's a lot of things that don't make sense. Well, that there's a lot of hypocrisy in their mentality. Way. And little Crowder guy, the guy that got famous for that one that's a meme now. The change fucking, my mind. The change my mind table way. Yeah. Pues ese güey también. That's what he just goes with. Put a freshman. You see him he fucking does, debating yeah. with. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But there's a video somewhere where where at least a freshman or two fucking rip him a new one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like he, he found that one and then he, he they take that one down, but someone already saved it. Way, yeah, you know? like yeah. Como se llama Stephen Crowder. Crowder. He's the one that fucking uh, used to set up the little yeah. table. But he kind of still does it. But yeah, I'm telling you, he's had a few fails way where where they demolish him way like the little kids are a little smarter place. But I think every they follow more. I shit think now. every perspective, if you dig deep in there, has holes in it way. Like, oh, I know you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like everything has holes way. Every every mindset, every way of thinking, every theory, every religion, every you everything. You can't think of everything way. Everything has holes. Like everything is like, and then but but you have to acknowledge it way like. The shit that you're bitching about, you're also doing it. It's the same thing, but you're doing it in a different kind of packaging and, and you don't realize that you're doing it. Um, but Steven Crowder, I mean, uh, that dude's just doing shit for views, way. I mean... That pendejo, el vato. Yeah. El, el otro que me cae gordo también es el... Um, the Barbón, güey. ¿Cómo se llama? La, Walsh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That way fucking... Yeah, no mames, güey. Yeah, that dude has his... I mean, these guys are good at debating, way, And that's the thing is they, they'll find fucking 20-year-olds that, that don't have any context, that, that haven't really had much life experience, and they, of course, are going to destroy them, way. Let me ask you, do these, do, do these individuals specifically choose who to yeah, debate yeah, with? No, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so they won't... Like, like, because my, my next they, thing They is, probably wouldn't talk to somebody like me. So, way. like, the, the Crowder, that was his thing. That's how he got famous. That, that changed my mind. He set up that table at the... At the little, like, the, the college place, right? And during, during like, sign-ups for, like, clubs or whatever. So, cuando están llegando los freshmen and shit. Yeah. That's how he got big way. So, debating pretty much freshman way. Kids out of high school and, and they, sophomores. And they follow, like, the stereotype. You'll see uh, the women with the colored hair, which is a stereotype. Like, oh, these feminists with colored hair. Like, these are the kind of people that they purposely target. They target, yeah. yeah. Y el otro way, Ben Shapiro goes and does a bunch of talks también at the, the fucking colleges way. And también there's a video of some guy que... I guess showed up. I, I don't know if he was going to call it. I don't know, wait, pero I guess he interned for o, fucking Obama or someone. Y le fue a preguntar something about, a, something about the, 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 the dude was gay, so he was asking something about the, I don't know if the pronouns or qué fue. Y también, wait, he was throwing questions at him that he was like, he started answering and what the fucking head answers back and he fucking eventually told the security just to fucking take him out. That's what it is, bro. <laughs> so like, as soon as someone was having act, an actual debate with them, yeah. Now, yeah, este güey ya le contesté. Quítalo, güey. Yeah, I, w- I would love to debate these people, güey. Like Shapiro and yeah. these people. I would love to debate them, but th- they wouldn't They wouldn't accept something like somebody that has the mindset that I do and the way I think about things. They, they would, it wouldn't help their brand, way to kind of yeah. pick pick on their, their fucking, their holes, way. But I just I just think it's just a bunch of hypocrisy, way. Just let people live, way. Who gives a shit, way? Yeah, because they talk about fucking freedom, you know, so que pedo, wey, pero yeah. they're all about putting someone else down, with. Yeah, it sucks, bro. It sucks, way. But I guess the, the conservatives feel like they're making a fucking the progress, right? And a lot of people are leaning towards their, their movement, way. But I'm not sure. I just hope they realize that everything has flaws, way. Well, the, the pedo, what they're thinking, pues, is that, that they're, like, they always talk about the base, you know, like, the, the, the politics of the Republican base and the conservative it's compressing, pues. It's getting more, like, compressed. But if you look at the graphs, the Republican Party has been fucking dropping for for probably decades already, way. Like, it's been shrinking. But the base is getting, more, like, compressed, pues. Like, the people mm. are, the people are getting to are more hardcore, pues. 
the more casual ones pues are dropping off they're becoming independent it doesn't mean they're becoming democrats pues, but maybe now they're independent way I mean, like for decades not 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 even like this trump time way i mean i grew up in a republic household where i mean See, my my yeah. my mom they reagan was like their fucking god way because you know the whole fucking <laughs> thing that he passed yeah so we grew up with that, and then flip flopping when Clinton came because he was attractive. All of a sudden, we're Democrats. <laughs> the, the chin. One? No, my parents still fucking. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't care for Clinton. Clinton? My mom was in love with Bill Clinton. Just fucking right? smoking because he smoked. He played weed? jazz in the Arsenio. He played uh, the saxophone in the Arsenio Hall. No, porque I was in his house way anti weed, bro. Huh? Yeah. Ese way fumó es pinche marihuano. No, no. But the thing is, even before that, uh, it's just like. They they didn't care for him. They were, who was running with them against them that during that time? I think oh George George Bush Senior was it Senior? Yeah, I think he lost to Senior because Senior only had one term. Oh, and oh then, yeah. And then the second term he that he was going for, he lost it towards. Um, oh yeah, the young guy, the young attractive guy, yeah. the charismatic fucking uh, jazz or blues musician, and whatever. Musical. That but that that little fucking. Um, Guest appearance at uh, Arsenio Hall really boosted him. Oh, that, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, that, uh, his, his his, his uh, fucking his people fucking knew what they were doing. I mean, I think that was the first time that a president or a candidate was like like part of like what the people like kind of resonated with people, right, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah. this dude plays sax. Yeah, but think oh, he's about wearing glasses. But think about all the he other inhaled. all the well, other didn't inhale, no? all the other that candidates wasn't. before that. They were all older. They were more fucking. Conservative, they wouldn't do not, not like John F. Kennedy. Like there, there was he was like pretty young and I'm thinking about like our like in our time. Like oh, I remember okay. Reagan. Mm-hmm. You know Reagan, you wouldn't see him doing those kind of stunts. No, tampoco George Bush Senior, uh, fucking, and then luego llega Bill Clinton. It, you don't think it's like a whole like Republican Democrat thing? Because I mean, maybe that's just my conditioning. But to me, a Republican is always associated with somebody that's a little older. From from what I maybe the way I'm conditioned in society, where one our time, yeah, because Democrats seem to me visually seem to be more like for the people, Fucking like the, the, these people. They have a little bit more kind of heart. I mean, I could be. I mean, obviously, it doesn't translate across the board all the time, where. But I think Bill Clinton was more like, man, this 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 guy's ours. And and I'm not saying he was a great president, because like, there's a lot of things that he did that were pretty yeah. questionable that we're still dealing with right now, but. But yeah, we, and it makes sense that our parents were Republicans because, I mean, Mexico is a pretty conservative country, bro. Super conservative. Wow. Well, I mean, now, I mean, it's it's in, in every state in Mexico right now, it's legal for uh, gay marriages. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I did, I, every I, fucking... But that's all pretty recent. Way that's yeah, but I mean, uh, I mean, think about it. You're talking about a country that's fucking hardcore... Super machismo. Catholic, yeah, too. Hardcore Catholic and religious. I mean... Uh, you go into fucking a hundred homes in in Mexico. I guarantee you, ninety of those homes have some sort of religious artifacts in there. Y todavía se persina before yeah. a meal and shit, right? Se Cuando pasa la iglesia. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 la vía rápida. Todavía se va de chulo. Al periférico. Al periférico. Ahora es miércoles. Ahora es días gloriosos todos. Saquen su rosario. Ahí viene la glorieta. The fucking um, yeah. hey, well, en el periférico. I mean, you're more connected to Mexico than me. Where is the is the Catholic numbers going down too as as the years go by? The new generation or are they still? Not, I think they're the the they're still. Como te digo, it's like they're not, uh, they're still faithful. Or there's still people that claim that by title that they're Catholic, but they're not practicing. I think so. I think the Catholic Church has been seen. También, like the Catholic Church has been has, down también for has a long been, time. Yeah, but it's been oh. como estaba diciendo Fernie right now, like how the Republic is like declining par- participation. También, the Catholic Church has been having that. Oh shit! It's like you know, there's not that there, you know the 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 limosnas on Sundays are mm. are getting a little scarce. <laughs> oh scarce. shit! Scarce, scarce, scarce. <laughs> scarce. Wait, we got any problems with words today? Hey, but you're gonna get canceled for that one. I'm gonna get canceled for the other one. Yeah, that's scarce. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna get Jewism. Jewism don't care about abortion. Fuck yeah, my kind of people. Oh shit! Shit, bro, I'm gonna get canceled. Yeah, but no, it's uh, I mean. Todavía tienes tus, tus celebraciones, todavía tienes tus pinches días festivos, que el Día de la Candelaria, que el Día del Santo Niño de Atocha. Yeah, but that's que, not the same as yeah, being religious. The, but they still, they, they still have these events, you know? And 
como te digo, there's still people that acknowledge that they're Catholic, but some of them are non-practicing. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I so mean, they're not it, filling up the pews. I mean, you're like Christmas is like a religious thing, right? And we don't really think about it like that. It's yeah. just some holiday. Ah, yeah, eso sí. The uh, war on Christmas. Ah, yeah, eso sí. <laughs> el, el 12 de diciembre, fuck, dude. Everybody, like the majority, go to fucking Dia de la Guadalupana. Mm. But I'm saying it's an event where it's yeah. not, it's not. I don't but think there's it's still a mass. It's still celebrated. It's still a mass. Yeah, yeah. You're still celebrating at yeah. the end of it. Where but I mean, it's it's an event, a celebration type of thing. I think, como he says, uh, I think that the, the the Catholic thing was obviously has declined with they've passed all the <coughs> all the, the gay marriage stuff way. I mean, there's some things like your sister brought me this this Santa Cecilia f little thing that 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 I have from uh, from New Orleans. New Orleans, and I mean that's a, that's a Catholic fucking. Mm -hmm. Um, like a scripture or, or a person, and and I find like yeah, this is cool. I like it. Doesn't mean I'm Catholic, but I can see like the little things. And maybe I'm just being hypocrite, where I, like pick and choose what I want to gravitate towards. That's the beauty of Catholicism, bro. Is it? I go to the posadas for the champurrado. That's the beauty of Catholicism. As to this madre, right. as long as you repent, you're right, fucking. Then I'm a fucking Catholic, bro. Back on the fucking <laughs> then top. I'm, then I'm a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> with Hitler or whatever and oh, God. Yeah. What is it? There's so, a little skid way. So there's a, way. there's a Se llama Backdoor uh, the, oh, the highway It's a It's a, 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 a sketch show The Comedy Central in Mexico Se llama Backdoor? Yeah no. Oh shit Going so back, back to the The Bautismo del Nuevo I know <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Highway. Taking it back full circle Over yeah. here Fucking <laughs> Filmada in Detroit. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Detroit. <laughs> Ay, why? <laughs> de atrás. Ay, por Detroit. So Detroit is de, at, de, de atrás. De atrás. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know. <laughs> 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 el, el fuck it. So they, they show that this guy's in fucking in heaven, right? You got a heaven or whatever. Who? What guys? Like the one of the actors. Guys. Yeah, there's, oh, okay. there's random actors, right? So como estamos acá que la chingada. Oh, pues bienvenidos al cielo. Oh, gracias Dios. He's okay. in the lobby. And it's yeah. the dude with the white beard yeah, type of yeah. show. Like yeah. ¿Cómo estás? Dios, Bienvenido. Whatever. Mira, normalmente cuando llega alguien nuevo, pues le, lo, 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 lo mandamos con él que le dé el tour, <laughs> que, le, que le enseñe cómo están las cosas y todo. Y aquí te vamos a traer. He changes his name. He yeah. has a nickname for yeah, him. Yeah, he has a nickname. Ah, tú cállate para acá. And then the, the guy that just got there is looking at him like, <laughs> like, Dios, 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 such and such le das el tour le das el completo tour, eh? le enseñas cómo está el menú yeah. y cómo cómo ya sabe qué que te gusta cómo le con lo que le va a costar lo del sindicato aquí todo lo que porcionamos y que la chingada yeah. <laughs> so, but the guy that just got this looking like oye sa Dios que um, ¿Quién es Hitler? <laughs> yeah, he has a little mustache. <laughs> and he's got the fucking, the, the Nazi band on his arm. Oh, he's all like, But it's all ah, white with. Yeah, he's like, ah, sí, 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 pero ¿sabes qué? Este compa se arrepintió y que la chingada. <laughs> no, y miras qué buena onda es. <laughs> Eso toda madre, este cabrón y que la chingada. Sí, pero, uh, Dios, este... Este cabrón hizo el peor ge 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 genocido. No, what is it? Genocide? Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. I can't, If you don't know, menos yo. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. Fuck. Me atrabé. <clears throat> en todo el mundo, casi erradicó casi la, a, a la raza judía. ¡Tú, gente! Sí, güey, pero es que estaba en unos... Estaba pasando por un mal tiempo. Pero ir aquí, ya está toda madre. Que la chingada. Se arrepintió de lo bonito. Que cuando te arrepientes, aquí llegas, mi amigo. Órale, bueno, pues... Pues mira, antes de que comencemos, Dios... Me gustaría ver a mi mamá. No la he visto y que la chingada. Y quisiera abrazarla y, y darle un beso. Y que la... Ah, sí, no, tu mamá no está con nosotros. Ella está allá abajo. Pe pe pero ¿por qué? <risa> es, que, es que comió carne en Semana Santa. So, I mean, hey, dude, that's the beauty. That's the beauty of Catholicism. So you pick and choose. You, you <clears throat> pick and choose. There's loopholes. You know, the the biggest one is like, hey, te arrepientes and you're good. Fuck, just go to church on Sunday and we'll, we'll forgive the whole week. Yeah. That was a thing, right? Remember? Or yeah. I remember. Por eso te vas a confesar. Yeah. Haz tu desmadre. 
todo lo que quieras, pero... Y vas todo crudo al, al fucking uh, church on Sunday. Yeah, the only thing is, like, acá con nosotros, like, uh, el, I don't know, maybe es, era pinche tranza del padrecito, güey. So, he wouldn't give confessions on Sundays. He only gave them on Fridays and Saturdays. Oh, oh, so I was like, son of a bitch. He wanted you there. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, si te puedes confesar el viernes, pero si el sábado haces tus pendejadas, you're fucked for Shit. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Or if you went on Saturday, you're like, ah, fuck. That's one of those priests that takes his job too seriously. Yeah, yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> because normally sometimes you could get them during the week. You could get it on Monday. You can get it on on Sunday también. I've never done that confession way. So what 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 really like what what's what does it entail? Where like you go in and you tell them you like, just hey, tell I them I your fucking secrets or like the shit that you're ashamed to tell or confess to people. You know, like hey, sabes qué? Me la jale pensando Ay, en la vecina cuando estaba regando. Ay, so that's the kind of shit you, yeah. you told this guy. And you know, Ramón when it was like therapy way. I, 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 th I think that was a little too close. That wasn't just he just didn't invent that that. No, came no, no. <laughs> no, no. I think that story was like etched in his memory. There's all kinds of shit. Le bajé a mi dar su colección de de coras para jugar Street Fighter. Oh shit! So you would tell him all this, and then yeah. how would he assess it? Then and then he gives you advice, pero si sí sabes por te estás arrepintiendo, pero entiendes por qué te arre, por qué estás arrepentido, qué es lo que por qué te estás arrepintiendo, por qué lo estás confesando. No, es que pues sí sé que es mal y que le chinga. Bueno, y, y qué vamos a hacer para para que nos continúe, pues no, pues no pensar en la vecina. No, chico. You know, or like, you whoa, know, whoa, 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 slow, whoa, whoa. Or shit like that, you know. Whoa, And whoa. at some point, yeah, it's like anything. I already knew the little ins and outs. I knew the what they wanted to hear. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so Blue like. Policy says, they would give you homework or standards? Well, no, what he tells you is uh, you had to do your, your penitence. Or your penance. Your penance. Uh, fucking, so ya con lo que se acaba todo, so ya, ya acabas con la charla, no, pues. ¿Cómo estamos, Ramón? ¿Estamos todo bien? No, pues todo clarito, padrecito. All right. So, mira, para tu penitencia, quiero que me reces 10 padres nuestros, 5 Ave Marías, Ay, el acto de contrición. Y, What the eh, fuck kind of priest? Yeah, y, <laughs> y, y, y échame un credo. Pero quiero que analices el credo. Fuck, bro. Well, this is... No mames, güey. They, they give you that much, güey? Yeah, you never... You confessed. Yeah, but I didn't get fucking that list. You just but threw you, that one. You also didn't But you masturbate. had to do it constantly at, at school, though, right? I don't know about constantly. Fernie, you also didn't, didn't have to masturbate to the neighbor, way. So maybe well, this, yeah, is, but this I didn't is a little throw it out, I didn't throw it out in the little room, way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean... I, 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 I didn't cover anybody's wife. Ramon had harsh... <laughs> he had harsh penalties because of the things he was doing. Yeah, when, you know? Well, because he was confessing everything, apparently. Nah, like, throwing rata on himself. He's a good Catholic, right? Yeah, no, and then and then spat that when the awkward years came, you know, fucking like I was, oh, those weren't the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when it was 10, way. <laughs> What? I was 13. It was like a no, that wasn't yeah, the peak. Yeah, como los kids or whatever. No, pues oh, conocí a mi prima, pero oh, mi prima está. Oh, oh, this is getting shit. yeah, oh, shit like that, or like, oh no, or, uh, you know, not only that, but you thought they were shit. when I say prima, it's like you there's friends of the family that they tell you they're your uncles. So then the, the kids... So you won't mess with them. Yeah. And then the kids are like... They tell you you're related, so you, you yeah. they know you're a fucking horny 14-year-old. Fuck, you're not even covering the neighbor's wife. No, oh. covering <laughs> the fucking... The Theo's daughter, eh? Holy shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, so shit like that. What the... F <laughs> hey, 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 nonchalantly. Hey, let, let he cast It's the like first stone who hasn't fucking thought of a prima. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> This is like the time... Yeah, oh. hey, you, you know, when you try to fucking taste your own chile, and everybody's like, what? No, I never done everybody's that. trying to suck their own dick, right? No. Oh, fuck. I mean, we're, hey, Fernie, we're, we're talking to the guy that probably in his life, I bet I bet this guy in his life, he's bought Magnum condoms just to see how Jesus didn't like them that much. <laughs> just to see how they fit. I tried the lamb ones. He, he, he put Magnums on just, just so he could see what he's missing. Uh, never done that. <laughs> Shut like, the fuck up, bro. Tienes que hacerle un pinche nudo para que se Shut the fuck up. Ramon with the chongo. The fucking <laughs> side chongo with the magnum condom. 
he just he just wanted to see how much he needed to fill these uh, in. Ay, güey. Para sentirme pinche capaz. ¿Cuántos más veggies I gotta eat? That sucks, bro. I bet you were disappointed when you put that Magnum on, bro, and it just completely <laughs> slipped off. I don't even have to put it on. I just already know I'm disappointed. No más en la pinche cajita, güey. Pinche cajita. The individual was like, shit. what the fuck? Holy shit. No mames, güey. I've been praying all my life, and this is what you give to me, bro. <laughs> Así me pagas. That sucks, bro. And then he confesses, too. No. Yeah. I was staring at a Magnum. Yeah, I bought no. a Magnum. I bought some Magnums at Walgreens, padrecito. No. And, uh, la Drifties. Pero ni la abrí porque el puro paquetito. No la abrí. Claro, ya se mira. No la abrí. No, pinche paquete como que desanima, el padrecito. Parecía ¿Por pinche, qué, Dios mío? Parecía pinches hoops de chola. <laughs> Esos pinches argollas. It's all right. You bought Magnum just to see how <laughs> fucking how you didn't fill them in, bro. Nah, There's nothing wrong with that. It's about those confessions are good, way. Those are good, way. <laughs> they should be their own podcast. <laughs> this is fucking. I wish I wish we had audio. <laughs> What's my penance? <laughs> I wish we had audio of this. <laughs> Shit, with those confessions. <laughs> there should be there should oh, be uh, some me. some you know in the Chicano Shuffle archives. There might be some audio of my confession somewhere. Man, that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> you those? know, how, like HBO had taxi confessionals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They should have one of the Catholic priest way. <laughs> I think we'll fucking watch it. We should look into Let's go talk yeah, to him yeah. in San Amitas way and say, we got it. We no. got the recording equipment. <laughs> San Aloysius was my playground. <laughs> you just put a little a little notice on the doorway. Yeah. You're being no, recorded. Filming, <laughs> filming yeah, a red <laughs> light. <laughs> but you remain anonymous. No pedo. Yeah, you're anonymous. No, las pinches. We, we give you the, the, the hacker cybernetical <laughs> fucking voice. Hola, como están? Me la jale comiendo la vecina oh, quiero shit. comenzar por decir que en <laughs> llegó la prima se me la jale otra vez <laughs> <laughs> y luego llegó la tía y no se diga. Holy shit. Holy shit, bro. La tía que anda en su época de party. Holy shit. <laughs> si a la prima se la rima, ¿qué se le hace a la tía? Holy oh, shit. Wow, Holy shit, man. Hey, you guys, this is the guy that everybody defends, by the way. <laughs> are, you guys, are you guys listening to the guy that everybody says, let him be? <laughs> Don't pick on him. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> Not that guy. This is the guy that you guys are defending. <laughs> Just so you guys know. They're having a laugh, bro. Just so you guys know. They're having a laugh. Just so you know, this is the guy that everybody defends right here. And after he's done, he tried uh, to taste I'm it himself. I'm always a villain. I'm always a villain. This is the guy that... On, we're on all his, laughing, way. On his way to confession, he buys a pack of Magnums at Thrifty's. No, that's you. That's the one you're projecting. No. Oh, I just said, like, just by looking at the box, I was already, like, yeah, fucking I'm I'm out discouraged. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to do with this experiment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's already it's oh, already shit. a heartbreak. And just to add fucking insult to injury, chalice. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, well, how about the ones with that the people that so use on their thumbs where that so they won't fucking the cut themselves? That's what this is called? The thimble, yeah. <laughs> no, not the thimble. There's some for... The thimble, no? Oh, no. the little plastic? Yeah. The little yeah. condom? Yeah, the little condom. Oh. Yeah, I remember I like the th rasa. I don't know who fucking in the, in the fucking... In the, and the wall I had some of those in la like, cartera <laughs> like toma wey I'm like what oh! <laughs> oh you dick and you're putting it away you're like fucking asshole holy shit bro yeah we, oh my we, God, we've man. always obsessed over fucking dick sizes huh bro like yeah. as kids yeah did you guys ever change in the pee room or were you guys we always we didn't those? have that way. you didn't have that no like I had that in high school where we were fucking we would have to change like in the same locker room and I always had uh, issues with my body weight fucking I never I always used to wear the clothes under my clothes and it was fucking dirty because it was sweaty yeah. but I would just put my pants over my shorts and my sh I wouldn't take off my shirt I would just put my my fucking um, Wrangler shirt or mm. my, my fucking grunge shirt that what? we used to wear in those days <laughs> over the PE shirt because I didn't want to take my shirt off. Yeah. But there was guys that didn't give a fuck right? they were just fucking okay. no más, yeah. well we used to have showers in uh, my junior high yeah. Yeah. So right there, fucking, you always saw the the Morenos like fucking, <laughs> like wow. Sana. No way, but you wow. saw that. We know where like, he comes from. Remember last week? Like, like, dijo son of a bitch. Como, como voy a, no, ni fucking madre. hater. Why are you a hater, <laughs> bro? I'm not hating. I'm just pointing <laughs> out the obvious. Like that right there was discouraging. I'm the only guy looking at the chilas over here, fucking the eggplants. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're over here trying to be all fucking sneaky. I know. I'm, I'm trying to mind my own fucking <laughs> business, right? Get the fuck out of here. And I'm, Ramon's fucking <laughs> Peter gazing. Like, yeah, a mí no me tocó el pinche in the high school. 
school, but I, I got the wipe was, you know, where they have the, after the, the they would go in the piscina or whatever, they have the. No, and luego Ramon was in South Central, where that's where he was yeah, getting the no, fucking, wait, like, the yeah, voyeur, just, voyeurism. Dude, discouraging as a motherfucker over there. <laughs> and Boyle Heights, And, and not only that, pero sabías entre la raza, like, que hacían the Esteban move, I'm like, yeah, I understand, bro. Yeah. I get it. I mean, no. hey, we can't compete. Yeah, <laughs> we can't. What the fuck? Yeah. We can't compete. So fucking este los way. chorecitos or like, si te, te ponías la toalla para cambiarte. You know? Yeah, that's the movida. Yeah. yeah, the toalla. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And not only that, but like you always looked around and you're like, I'm like, fuck it. I think I could do this in five seconds. You looked around, make sure nobody's looking. <laughs> El pedo es que us. obviously we're not in high school anymore, junior high. But I don't even I don't know if they're still pantsing people because when I was in high school, junior high. Oh, there was pee, a, they would fucking lower your shorts while yeah. you were trying to fucking do some jumpy jacks or some shit. <laughs> or, you're just wa- or you're walking with somebody. Yeah. Oh, man. They don't do that anymore. You I, think? I don't know. I, I think, yeah, this was th- those they days. They might, but there might be serious those days consequences are over with. now. Yeah. Those Back then, no más el pinche coach se cagaba de risa. Like, hey, just fucking. <laughs> just make sure you the, make the a, a tight knot. The perverted coach. The yeah. perverted coach. Hasta un pinche nudo en el pinche. You know how the shorts had the little string? The dress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Como just... tu magnum, güey. Hasta un pinche nudo. You can tie it down. <laughs> I mean, I think every school had like that perverted PE teacher. No, we had one. Yeah. I'm not going to name him, but we had one that would always fucking look. It's, that guy didn't discriminate males or females. Wait, that dude was always trying to fucking look. Wait. It was so fucking annoying. And he was also the soccer coach. Wait, so he was always around kids that were changing or fucking doing shit. And, and you would we would catch him fucking looking at people like even like one time I remember he would he would he would go in front of the the girls and he would when the girls were doing like like uh push-ups or something like their shirts would kind of come forward a little bit yeah. and you could tell he was trying to look oh, into their shit. fucking titties way and then he would walk in back of us and he would try to look behind people's shorts and we're like what fuck way f- but it's just I'm shit sure. that you dealt with way like you never really I'm not saying that that's the the society that we need to be in where you just kind of like yeah, brush well, it off yeah. and continue but that's what we used to do way it wasn't ever really we knew it was happening but nobody said anything way it was just kind of like eh. yeah and you don't know and you don't know who to go or who to you know like <clears throat> I have a concern who do you go to do you go to the principal the vice principal or another coach or well, what didn't know is the pedo. Yeah, or know, a guidance yeah. counselor or what? You, you didn't. You just thought it was part of it. Yeah, that sucks. Bro. Yeah, because I do remember también. I mean, now that you brought that up, uh, con nosotros eran like sit-ups and I remember like um, like the guys that used to have them on one side and the girls on the other but I remember like the coach would look at us over here but he's always you stand on the girl uh, side. The girl side. Mm, mm, que bien. Yeah. You know? Que bien. So now, it- now that you, in retrospect you think about it like, this motherfucker. Yeah, why is he working with kids? Yeah. Or, yeah. You know? Well, I, I didn't do the, the Ramon with the Magnans, but una vez, alguien sí los compró. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Bro. El pinche, the, 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 I don't know if it was right after high school. Maybe the cashier school. was cute, and he wanted a fucking... No, no, the, no, my, the, <laughs> right? the, the girl que andaba con around, like, I don't know, around, around when I was 18, 19, I think. But I, I don't know if I was still in high school now. Well, obviously 19, no, pero en esos tiempos... Burro. <laughs> like oh, lo, lo man, the, like she went like like it como says in a writer he fucking se bajó ella entró por los pinches la, la cajita and then we got home and I go oh shit qué pedo wey <laughs> fucking frisbee she's like oh they, she, she's like oh I don't know they come in different sizes he goes no wonder the cashier <laughs> nah, nah, pero, pues no sabía wey pero she's like no wonder I got like a weird look from the lady behind me and the the, the cashier pues. se la antojó but I go no, no they're it, just condoms fucking hey suerto, yeah. that's a keeper right Fuck. there I, hey it does give the, the ego boost pero no <laughs> <laughs> at that moment yes but después is like the disappointment yeah. well, I, don't, I don't have to type pero tam, I, don't know, ah, I, don't, I don't know I don't know how different they actually I, but I don't know how, how different they actually are pues. like, you I'm, think the size change like in the 90s a small was fucking right now is a different size a medium in now it used to be a large in the 90s you think that those condom sizes changed or they've always been the same I don't, I don't know, know but I I mean, I, I don't know if you guys ever noticed that at the end of it, they used to have a little barcode. A the barcode? Oh, you guys never pulled it all the way to the end? No? No, no I'm saying like, well, no. What do you mean a barcode? <laughs> this guy's talking shit, where Don't listen to this the fucking thing. What the fuck is that, <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? O sea, que nunca lo extendieron todo. Eso sí, eso sí te digo, no. El, el pinche de the Magnum one, si lo, si, si lo abrías, yeah. esa madre está fucking... Oh, yeah? <laughs> lo usaba de Beanie el pinche. Ni, ni de resotera, güey. Like, like 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 hey, you, you ever cut like the, the, the top of the one liter bottle and put like a rubber band over it and yeah. then fucking... Oh, to, to, little yeah, to, to throw shoot the little, little rocks. pellets and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the little baby rocks. Yeah. Oh, man, dude. 
But yeah, it's another los días, güey. Ramón's like, I pray to you every day and you didn't give me, I Todos can't fill in this magnum. Me confieso, fucking. Uh, I tell you everything, eh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. I, I helped out with the celebrations of La Guadalupe. That was his best friend, el pinche Cruz, güey. I was there for fucking Easter, for Lent. Everything. Y llegó, así como, me pagas. llegó como el, como en el Thames al took the infection. <laughs> eh, ¿Qué pasó, güey? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estamos? Ay, ¿Qué traes ahora, Ramoncito? Oh, a ver, a ver, dígame. Oh, yeah. That, that's hilarious, güey. <laughs> Pobrecito mi Ramón. Hey. You la vecina a la derecha o izquierda ahora, güey. You work with what you got. Si no, pues, ¿qué? qué ¿Cómo le haces? Uh, pues no, güey. Vas a estar sufrido toda tu vida. Le haces tu luchita ahí, güey. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking, hey, you fucking, you, you, hey. You build fucking. You make lemon, you make lemonade with the lemons you get. Ahí está, güey. Es todo, güey. Ahí está, güey. Ahí está. Ahí está. ¿Para qué llorar? That should be in the carnicería quote right there, bro. The month of July, Ramón's birth month. <laughs> you, you, you make lemonade with the lemons you get. Ay, güey. I do the little, the little. In this culture, güey, I'm sure that would go viral, where you see the comments. Oh, wow, this is insightful. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, wow, well, game changer. And then you have people like it. Church. If, well, I've heard it like if Preach. life gives you lemon, you, you know, make lemonade. I'm like, hey, no, fuck it. It's the same shit. Yeah, it's the same shit. I don't <laughs> You make lemonade with the lemons you get, bro. That's funny, bro. How did we start talking about Ramon trying to buy condoms to fit in to see I how? I think because of confession shit, oh, confession. Se la está jalando to everybody, wey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wey, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I fucking when I was like a teenager, yo, well, yeah, fucking, no. no, yeah. My fucking hormones were. Nah, yeah. I think I'm Dude, I watching Pinchi llegaba. Elvira, remember Elvira? Oh, oh fuck, Pinchi, no Elvira, no mami. No, wait, does not even go too far. Llegaban the JC Penny fucking mm. catalog and like. That'll do it. Oh no, yeah. yeah, con antes en esas edades o esas de esas cita, I'll take, I'll take that one. Que oh yeah, everybody, oh yeah, everybody win. I don't. I mean, you think that's changed already, way? Uh, uh, I don't I mean, think so, way. Because some of these kids are just a click away from having some Fuck hardcore yeah. shit, way. Like that's a that's the thing that we got in our in our generation is like the porn we watch was pretty standard, bro. It wasn't really like well, it wasn't hardcore. Even, it was pixelated, way. <laughs> but not even, but not even that way. Like the magazines and like some of the movies that we used to watch as teenagers, they're pretty pretty mellow. Looking back, compared to like the shit that's now fucking a click away that these kids they're exposed to like this hardcore fucking sex and this this shit that's a little it was advanced for us in those days, way. And so this is what they're thinking sex is, way. Is that whole fucking right? and fucking <clears throat> yeah. stuff going on? It's, it's a crazy society. Where I wouldn't say I would a hundred percent think that if phones were around when we were kids, we would be looking at that shit too. Oh right? yeah, estuviéramos bien trastornados. Yeah, yeah. No, they, but I did like you're saying. They, they've talked about it now. It's they're distorting their their like sexual relationships. Boys, like mm -hmm. they, they, everything feels like they well not doesn't feel they, 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 they think it has to be like more than it is, I guess, way. And that's a tricky one, bro, because like that also falls under the religious umbrella. Like conservatives like Ben Shapiro or, or, or uh, people that are more that side of things, mm -hmm. they'll say like, that's why you shouldn't fucking have sex before marriage. That's why you shouldn't do all this. You so then it turns into that. It turns into that debate. Like, well, that's why Jesus doesn't want you to do this. That's why. But he's a Jew. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is like he's in Jewism. What I'm saying is like that's always an excuse to throw. Like that's why you need yeah. to be in uh, some kind of religion way. Hey, si vas al Hong Kong, make sure to get Chinese food. <laughs> you know, the si vas al Hong Kong. Yeah. <clears throat> Pero no, they, they, yeah, I think we talked about it a long time ago too. How that how porn distorts their their view of it. Pues, yeah, everything like you're saying, everything has to be exagerado or or. Like, Yeah, yeah or, or guys lasting fucking 20, 30 minutes, way right? not realizing fucking. that that's all edited. And then you're a kid, dude, I masturbate and I come in fucking two strokes. Or, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that, that that's not bad because, I mean, some women, obviously, they're they're not into that. And, and then it's such, a, such an insecurity for some men that they don't think like, like Ramon said, you work with what you have, way. If you fucking come in two seconds, then uh, learn how to use your fucking tongue. Or and fucking control learn how to get, yeah. don't, don't put her fucking doggy style the first move. Or you're gonna fucking. <laughs> you're, you're done. You're done, bro. You're done. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's change, a rookie change, mistake. Change, change your fucking game That's plan, bro. That's a rookie mistake. Tonight. Come on, bro. <laughs> like you want to last and if, yeah, right yeah. away her ass is in the air. And don't let her get on top of you because she's controlling yeah, you. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Wow. You, 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 lost. Wow. You, you got no control right there so <laughs> 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 yeah. oh 
shit. <laughs> hey, fuck it. You know, you 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 started off where you have the control, where you can like just <laughs> control the pace, the rhythm. You know, entonces ya cuando ya pasas a certain threshold, because I think it's after a certain threshold, you got it. Um, All right, ahora sí. Yeah. Fucking de perrito, or de, de, de caballito. No, way. I mean, you got to prep for it, way. It's not just like showtime. Yeah. I'm not. I got this this time. No, 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 this no. time I'm good. Luego, yeah. luego, fucking hey, doggy hey, style. And if, and if you fucking finish fast, the como dice este man, fucking yeah. find other alternatives, fucking work out for your second win. Well, at least make her come first, way. Oh, yeah. Don't be a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Like, don't fucking, don't <laughs> fucking let, make her fucking get all horny and shit. Take off clothes, all this shit, and then you're fucking squirting in two strokes? Like, come on, dude. That's a waste of time for everybody, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for well, everybody. Not, not for everybody, but... Uh, oh, well, I mean, somebody got their kicks. They, you're, you're not yeah. gonna, yeah, you're not gonna, yeah. not gonna go very long. With well, exactly. she, she's not gonna fucking be there for a long time. Exactly. She's yeah. moving on. Yeah. At least make her come first, way. A few times, and then fucking... And then, and then know. put her doggy style, yeah, two strokes saying you're done. Okay. Netflix, let's do this. Vámonos. Let's order a pizza. Everybody's <laughs> okay. happy. You know? El chivito enjuiciado, ahora le amanos. Yeah, the pinche <laughs> porn's fucking him up, boy. Porn's fucking him up, bro. But I was, uh, I, I mean, can't wait. We well, just sound like boomers. We well, sound like boomers yeah, now. Would you, would you prefer to live in, in estos tiempos así where the porn's just freeway out there? Or yeah, I don't know, In, in our tiempo of scrambled porn. Yeah. Because I, like I saw more scrambled porn than I did any real porn. Yeah, with. and I like our times, bro. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I mean, I, we, I agree. We we got the, 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 the like the free porn, yeah, ponle into, at least into my 20s way. Still might have got it still in high school way when you can go yeah. online and get nah, the free porn. in my late. Mid, yeah, Ramon missed that little window. Fuck, no way. I didn't really have internet growing up. But I'm saying it was... It's, oh, well, yeah. My, maybe, like, when porn was available for me, it was in my, like, early 20s. Yeah, I remember when I was out of high school. That's, yeah, cause like, I, that porn. Because we were watching, like, the VHS, and then I've talked about my buddy that would sell porn in high school through yeah. a locker. So we, we were exposed to it. But uh, I don't know, Fernie. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be now a, a kid right now. Where I think it's just too much. Too much fucking information for me to even try to process. As, yeah, especially at that age. At, at that age, where yeah. <clears throat> That's yeah. That's yeah, because, it's all free way. But I mean, we still had our imagination. Come on, you said, Fernie, you had the scramble porn. And you had to like, fuck. Is that a fucking nipple? Is this Everything was a nipple. Is Everything this? was a nipple. Bro. <laughs> fuck yeah. Even, like, even his nipple looked good. Yeah. Fuck Because yeah. it's like, wait, I don't know. Fuck it. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> fuck uh, it. Lo que caiga. Yeah. Yeah. The spice chat. No, I'm, on a, I'm on a time crunch. They're, they're back from fucking Northgate in <laughs> yeah. fucking five minutes. No, yeah, you really did. Five <laughs> minutes. Fueron a la lavadora. No, in those five minutes, none of them te la but you also make some breakfast burritos. Wait. For sure, bro. But then that's <laughs> why, that, but then that's, that, that's why, that's why, you, wait, see? You, you set yourself up to masturbate five minutes and then have a snack because yeah. your parents are going to come. <laughs> but then you wonder why you come in two seconds. That's how you fucking practice, way. You practice the nut early. <laughs> Yeah, um, we didn't have, I mean, especially like in our household, siempre había alguien en la casa, güey. Yeah. You know, and, and it's like, you know. Oh, shit, Ramon's getting creative is what he's saying. Oh, well, you had to, bro. You had to, güey. <laughs> mi mom's like, hey, ¿dónde está mi catálogo de Jesse Penny? No <laughs> sé, mamá. Y mi cobija. No sé. No sé. ¿Qué pinches calcetines? ¿Por qué están tiesos? <laughs> wow. Oh, man, bro. <laughs> I mean, it makes you think the way, because, like, as kids, you're sloppy. As, yeah. as kids, you're... <laughs> your you're, parents, you're, your mom knew. They had to. Your mom fucking knew. They, 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 you, hey, fucking it, shout out to the jefitas. How shout out to the jefitas for knowing how to keep a fucking yeah. secret. <laughs> now that they're fucking kids, pinche depravado. Because, wait, I, I thought, I think about when I was 14, I was a fucking idiot. Yeah, wait, like nothing that I did was making sense. So I'm sure I was sloppy even with that way. I'm sure somebody saw me, somebody heard, and they just didn't bring it up. Where and it's just like fuck, wait, like it's kind of embarrassing. Not a control way, yeah. Check, eh? jalapeño. el jalapeño, What the hell? Tiene pelo las manos. Este cabrón. Remember they said that you would have hairs in your palms. Yeah, and you right away. No way. Si te lajas, salen pelos en la mano. No. No, you would look. <laughs> you look like ah. Why did they say that? Way? It was just, it was just it's fucking. Fucking catch a slipping fool. Fuck, yeah, it's like, fuck, you're such a pedo. The one with the hot and then you would touch your ear like, ah, oh, fuiste tú. Um, say fucking... the kind of shit that would make us happier and shoot the shit when we were kids, right? Uh, yeah, and fucking kids don't come up with those anymore because they're watching porn, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, watching just porn. Just it's wrong, fucking man. free, bro. Just it's stuck, everywhere. Stuck yeah, but how much the chicks make on the OnlyFans, right? On they the make only a lot of money, bro. Yeah, they make a lot of money. Dude, that's a lot of money, way. Fuck. 
Good for them, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm not fucking knocking their hustle away. I'm just fucking, it's just crazy way how much I mean, if, if I was a girl, I would be on OnlyFans, man. That's a lot of money, way. <laughs> Shit. I would sell my feet pigs. I mean, yeah, because to, like, to, like, people, like, you hear OnlyFans, someone who's saying, way. Someone was saying too, yeah, you hear only flans. Oh, only flans. <laughs> only keep saying that. No. Like, that's only, gonna, hey, that, that, that sounds like a good fucking panaderia, wey. Only flans. Know, fucking, no, well, there's a little. Flan porn. <laughs> I've seen a lot of them where the fucking, fucking hey, go Fucking hey, fucking this one. Mira como se caramelea. Huh? Ay, wey. Well, no, but, but I'm thinking everybody thinks it's just fucking encueradas yeah, and, or and fucking. sex shit. Pero también, there's a lot of fetish shit, like feet way. Like this about the saying, like, like you're just showing your feet. You know, I'll be selling my calzones, like, but I, I get, I get There's why chicks to, like the fully dressed, but they fucking make good money too. But I get the debate that women are like, well, we don't, ha we shouldn't have to do that to like actually make a really good living. I mean, I get that way, but there's also women that that that's what they want to do. So I mean, I don't think we should shit on them if that's no nah. really what they want. Because we 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 think about people that sell like pictures or like people that are in strip strip clubs and shit like that. We we always assume that there's like some kind of troubled childhood trauma that this is how it's manifesting but i mean if, if you really see it that way sometimes that's not the case where they they just and when you really think about it like why why shouldn't why wouldn't we be able to use our body to make money in that sense we use our body to make money everywhere else the touching on the, in the fields the touching on the fucking construction the touching on the fucking mechanica it goes hey, back yes, to hey, Ramon yeah. Ser, the limonada, güey. Hey, fucking. Pero, I mean, I don't know, güey. I mean, would you be able to date somebody that's on OnlyFans, güey? Well, I, th I think now at the... Yes, now at this age, you yes. When I was younger, maybe not. Mm. The insecurities, uh, the lack of matureness or, or anything. But, I mean, I would have to... It's one of those where, like... You know, it's if it's my part. If I'm dating someone, uh, and if I'm starting to date her, and she's already doing this, then yeah, I'm not gonna tell her to stop doing it. I would just suggest to be smart about it. Like I wouldn't have an issue with it, but I would say be smart about it because there's a, a lot of fucking creepy men that obsess over some of these women. Your information's all over the fucking internet. All all you need is some fucking dude that's obsessed with you to come knocking on your fucking door and, and like harassing you, calling you. Like that's the thing that I would be like, dude, just fucking be careful. Like be smart about it. Yeah. Not be like, because who am I to tell some my girl that she can't do something more? like? But uh, I think right now at this age, yes. Yeah, that's well, a good so, point. So yeah. I mean, but I mean, if if see, si estaban solteros, way like in. You're on that date way, I don't know, first, second, whatever, cuando te dicen, hey, ¿sabes qué? Güey, pues, así que, you got the nice ramfla, ¿Qué, pues, ¿qué pedo, güey? ¿Qué, ¿Qué traes? And she tells me, oh, dude, yeah, do the pinche only fan. Yeah. Would it fucking throw you off and be like, again, ah, I don't know, What wey. age am I in? Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, question. right now. Oh, right now, I'll be like, Fuck. I'm saying, si, tu, si estaba soltero ahorita, güey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, right now, I'm like, I mean, of course, there's going to be more conversation with her. I mean, I'm not going to tell her, oh, you know, I'm not going to shame her on it. Oh, <laughs> como dice Fern, como dice Esteban. <laughs> Be careful. I would have more of a conversation. But so, she's yeah. already, yeah. You, you, I mean, she, so doesn't, come, so she doesn't need you to give her advice. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's I'm not I'm giving her advice. But you said to, to I be would careful. have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I would but have that's a what conversation. Yeah, she, ask, she doesn't need for you she to She doesn't worry need about that her. conversation right now. She's no, not going to want my, to. In my sense, they're like, oh, yeah. So, like, what is your side about? Or, oh, why well, do this? I'm like, oh, is there big money? Or, yeah. Oh, you, hey, quick question. They're like, how do you do it to, to keep yourself safe from. Fucking oh while well, we do this you know we don't share that much oh it's those th those type of I'm not I'm not coaching or I'm not asking I'm not giving mm, her advice that, okay. that would I'm be asking, a conversation yeah on the that's day. a conversation you know, I, I would I would because my assumption way would be that somehow she's troubled and that's why she's doing that so that's the way I think way maybe it's not the right way but my first conversation would be am I gonna be this fucking chick's therapist or because I'm I wouldn't even worry about that side of it I would worry about what am I getting into. Is she doing something because she is insecure? She, because every, I mean, I know everybody's insecure, but not everybody has the awareness of that. Am I gonna deal with somebody that has super low self esteem? Am I gonna deal with somebody that's always gonna want me to take pictures of them wherever we go? Like that's where I'm gonna go. Like I'm not gonna be somebody's fucking therapist. Wait. Like what I'm getting into. If she has everything together, she's fucking going to therapy because that's really important. If you're working on yourself, then I don't care, way. But if I'm your fucking therapist, like no, nah, I don't give a shit how hot you are. I'm not here to fucking fix your problems. Are you giving me more problems than I need, Wayne? Um, oh, shit. So, Pinchy, then, question two, Wayne. Uh -huh. no oh, what about you? What about you? I, I think I would... I, I'd be, be curious. Honest, kind of, yeah. No, I'm saying I'd be, I'd be curious, like Ramon saying, like, oh, shit, pues este... 
de que, like, oh, ¿qué tipo de desmadre haces? Like, yeah. es feed, es fucking... Like, I'd, I'd be curious. A, I wouldn't have... A, a affiliate code? Like, the, the, the first thing that jumps to my mind wouldn't be like he's saying, no, oh, güey, pues te... You, ¿Cómo te cuidas de los locos? Más bien, a ver, pues explícame, güey, ¿cómo está ¿Cómo tu está, vida? Yeah. ¿Cómo está la like, cosa? Out of curiosity, güey. Like, pero I, 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 pero I, I don't think I'd have... I'd be like... I'd, like he's saying, I think... In a younger self, pues, ponle, you had that more machismo thing, que, I don't want my girl fucking doing that type of shit, pero ahorita, you're dating, I'd be more you're curious. Meeting, yeah. Yeah. But not only that, the other element, too, is that uh, as younger dudes, we would probably not be accepting of a woman making that, more money than we That's what I'm saying, that yeah. machismo thing. So that's that kills a lot of relationships, dude. When the woman's more successful, these guys have a lot of fucking insecurities, way, right? And they somehow they can't seem to live with the fact that their woman is more successful than them. That's also an issue where, like, some guys, maybe they'll be all about it because everything's cute when you first start, and then it kind of becomes annoying because your insecurities come out. Because a lot of guys, they wouldn't be able to date somebody that's making more money than that way. Yeah. No, yeah, at, at this point, kind of in the ballpark of what Ramon said, I'd be more curious about the kind of like the business side of it because yeah. even now I'm, like, curious because, dude, they make a fucking shit ton of money. You go, well, fuck, wait, like. It's crazy, like, and it's not like fucking. I don't know how much are the little plants, but only five. If, I'm assuming it's kind of like the Patreon thing where mm -hmm. there's a five, ten, fifteen. But I mean, no one's paying you like a thousand dollars a month, but they're making like hundreds of thousands, fucking. Because they have like fucking like hundreds of fucking so supporters. Business wise, I'm fucking thousands. curious as fuck. I thousands. mean, not to take away from these women too, where like you have to also acknowledge that. These fucking chicks are are, are smart business women because yeah. not because you're on OnlyFans you're gonna make twenty grand a month like that's the thing is like if this woman's making fifty sixty grand a month like that's that's some rare shit way like she has her shit together she knows she knows she knows about business she knows about marketing she knows about she all knows that her shit. audience. Like that's 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 rare to find in, in in a partner not just male or female like both mm -hmm. and so that's like something that. You, I would acknowledge and be like, hey, dude, this this one right here, there's something about her that I want to learn from. She's that's, a that's where I get curious with. Hopefully yeah. she's not fucking, if, even if she is like fucking all fucked up in the head and has a lot of issues, <laughs> I would still want to be her friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, Maybe I'm not going to date her. She might be all fucked up in her head, but she's making that much money. No, no. She's doing I, something right. No, I, I, I wouldn't want to date her, but I would want to like have her around because I might be able to learn something. Some questions, well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get curious, but yeah, but yeah, that, I would be curious. All right, what's this follow up question? I was gonna say, well, we're not solteros. How would you feel like if your girl goes, Hey, well, I see girls are making a lot of money, fucking um, oh, only man. flans. I mean, I, like I said, <laughs> bro, as, as long as she's careful, like with fucking uh, VPNs or whatever precautions she can take, like, I mean, I'm not gonna tell her. Who am I to tell her? It's like it's like her telling me like you can't play music. Like why are you playing music in front of people? Like that that's the equivalent of her telling me I can't do it. Is me telling her she can't pursue something that she wants to pursue it. So at that point, I would be open to it as long as like she's smart about it. Like I would try to like get that angle. It's like hey wait, get all your shit in check. Not have it easy for these guys to find out where you're at. Follow you because it's dangerous for women out there. Where. Like, we sell dick pics or whatever. We're not going to get some fucking woman knocking on our doorway. I don't know. Is, is there a lot of dudes making money on también? On the, there's on dudes, the but I don't know about a lot of dudes. But there's dudes on... Well, you got to think, way like, like gay porn, I mean, uh, male actors make more money with gay porn than they do with... Oh, no uh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I think you have said that before. Yeah. So sometimes, even if you're not gay, you'll, you'll fucking record a, a gay porn just because you're making more money than if you had sex with a female on camera. So you got to think... There's some guys that also go on OnlyFans because they want to look at naked guys. And so, I mean, if you're if you're selling your dick pics and all that shit and then you're and your audience is mostly males, that's what you're accepting that you're not. I mean, I'm not saying that women wouldn't subscribe to like some fucking uh, Momoa type dude showing his dick fucking naked. Mamon. I mean, <laughs> women, women like that kind of shit. Too, I'm not saying they don't. But um, but yeah, no, it's 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 interesting way, and, and then and also, dude, too, we we we're, we're saying it, but like being in it is a different fucking. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how I would react. I mean, I would definitely ask more questions. Why now, or what's what's leading up to this, or por qué, and everything, and then you know, depending okay. on that. I mean, I can't answer say like, oh yeah, fucking, I support you, or like, no, I'm a fucking against it. Let me piggyback on Fernando. Um. So you're accepting your girl, not not your girl now, because I don't want to put her in the story. Yeah, let's, yeah, we'll just let's say, say like some other chick you're dating. Yeah. 
she's on OnlyFans and she's fucking doing her thing. And then not us, but homies, because I wouldn't do that way. Your homies are like, hey, this girl's chick's on OnlyFans. Like, let me uh, let me pay you 20 bucks a month to see what's going on over there. Would you be cool with your friends being on your girl's page, giving her money every month, like, to see her? And then, I mean, that's your girl. This is your circle. How would you feel about that? Because we really don't have control over that way. No, yeah. but that would say a lot about And you know there's going to be some también. cabrones. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, that I would say a lot about no, my no, friends, Those too. cabrones are going to exist for sure. They do. Yeah, <laughs> of course, man. <laughs> Well, I, yeah. I try not. I, I try not to post like things about my girlfriend on Instagram, just because I don't know who's who's yeah, out there, here. bro. Like, I don't want to keep my shit private. But he only posts her hand. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying, Wade, is like, isn't that like kind of like you're getting into like more of like I don't know how I would feel about that, right, bro? Yeah, no. There's been like fucking gonna, listeners that like somehow they found the the mija and they request her. She's like, hey, who's this? I'm like, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to look at my like, oh, I think it might be a list. Like, why are they? I'm like, I have no idea. People are weird that way. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm. Doesn't always have to be bad, but it is weird. Yeah, this kind of like, uh, weird. But um, I mean. Because that, that comes with it, right, bro? If you're yeah, accepting for, sure. for her to be it, on. It's, it's no different. Like if you're dating a stripper or you're married to a stripper and your homies find out that she's a stripper and they end up going right there. I think that one, but the 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 the, the only the only fans type yeah, thing no, is, yeah. is could be is more could be your dad also watching Jeez. your girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying it it's more. Um, well, what's the? But why not? I, I, I can't find the word. Pero like it, it, more secretive, pues. Like they Yo. they can do it, and she might not ever know, pues. Like whatever she's a, yeah. or maybe she doesn't. Maybe bel nombre, and she's like, is could it be? Could it not be? You know, you don't know. But, but you, if I you think walk you into the strip, through that, no? but I'm saying if you walk into Probably. the strip club and they see you, they go, oh shit, yeah, I that's know this different. Guy. Yeah, it's, not it's, only that, they're like, hey, um, so your pain room. But even like the way the algorithm on Instagram works, you're 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 suggested people that you might know based on your phone and all that. So if your girl has a separate Instagram promoting like OnlyFans. I'm sure people around our network would also see it as a suggested, like, hey, you might know so and so. People will find it for sure. I don't even come this the way. They, they, the, the people, people will find shit way. So to accept her having the lifestyle, you have to accept that your dad could be watching her shit, your friend could be watching Anyone, her shit. Fucking my tío. Your tío el pinchín. Yeah. How are yeah. those Thanksgiving dinners when your fucking dad <laughs> and your friends subscribe to her fucking channel? <laughs> hey, pass me the hey, mashed um, potatoes. Me das una rebanada esa pechuguita que tienes ahí. <laughs> wow. Oh <my> wow. <laughs> Someone's uh, going to confession uh, on Friday. Yeah, a mí me encanta esa uh, pierna is, de is, esa piernita que está ahí. This man. is definitely a domestic violence fucking yeah. call this holiday season <laughs> in that household. Oh, I'm almost going to get pissed. Yeah, oh, eso está cabrón, güey. I don't know. I don't know where I would land on that one. To be honest, I don't think I've, I've matured that much. Wait, but no sé. That got wrong, man. Yeah, because because a, a lot kind of like what you're saying, pues. Because and time, kind of like what I'm saying too. Que, que, el, que people can do it like those freaking sneaky people, pues. Could do it more secretly than than like this. About to saying if she's doing if she's stripping or something, you know, like yeah. Eso lo ves. Go shit, fucking that's your that primo. That's that chick. Your primo that's came that's in today. Ramon's fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking llegó Ramon fucking today to the fucking bar, bro. Like it's not the same, you know. The other one, you can be a little more sneaky and low pro, and you may never know. Like, see, you tienes un amigo que es así de culero, he may never fucking tell you why he's paying those twenty dollars a pinche mess. That's true, eh? and I'm sure they'll get and, curious. Yeah, and, and and then their head, you don't know. Maybe they're maybe it is a little fucking culero. Style. Like yeah. they, they they almost feel like they have something on you. Like I'm maybe I'm overthinking it, you know. No, you you're not. Way I think I think it's a good like analyzing the situation because it is it is like something that has to be part of the whole discussion. Where it's like, are you willing to let your dad? So you have to accept all that. Yeah. You have to accept that. Yeah, you have to accept your dad <laughs> fucking looking at your girl's feet. No, I'm saying. And then I'm like, oh yes, um. Me gusta ese bizcochito que me, me das un pedacito sí, ese bizcocho. This guy's still talking like, about, like, he's talking about feet, this guy's fucking. Oh, <laughs> no. you, you, you can't have your girl wearing sandals in front of your I dad. Know, like, <laughs> well, no, he's not talking about feet, wey. No, I know, I know. Like, like, we're talking about feet, he's not talking about feet. He's talking about breasts. <laughs> no, <man>, bizcochito. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go that far, <laughs> oh, Ramon, but I mean, there's a lot of money there, bro. You, you can retire, yeah, Ramon. Your dad's social is going. Your social security's dad's uh, check is going in your girl's hey, bank account, yeah, bro. You know you're doing well. All these, all these haters <laughs> are signing up. Are like, ¿Y el dinero para dónde está? <laughs> your mom, you're, you're having issues with your parents because your dad's pawning all kind of shit to subscribe <laughs> and, <laughs> and have uh, extra content. <laughs> wow. Hey, bro, if all the haters are subscribing, bro, fuck, like you're retired, boy. No cool <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that changed the whole story. I know, fucking right? Merit, right bro. On fucking on channel, like, ah. Nah, but I don't think it'll happen because on channel is not good with fucking. He's not savvy? No, he's not. He's savvy. not. Um, 
someone would have to help him. So most likely that would be me. <laughs> Check this out, Papa. No tienes un family and friends. A ver, dame su tarjeta. A ver. Family friends discount. Dame su tarjeta. Mire, en este código lo voy a poner aquí. Holy shit, we're machistas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have that, that 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 other second half. I don't think I've. I've I guess if you want to call it matured, pues. Yeah. I still have a little hiccup on. I guess with. But I don't let's know, just because I overthink you, it. Well, I'm, I'm, como es este way, maybe I'm not overthinking it, way, pero. But part of it, también, como es este way, do you want to stop them from if if that's something they want to do? Pero part of me, como decimos, there's a lot of fucking shady fucking shit's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, what if she like promotes herself all the time? And, I know. And so she's telling your friends, like, oh, what do you do for? Oh, that's yeah, weird way. That that's something. But I mean, if they ask her, what do you do for 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 a living? Like, because that's a normal yeah, that's small a normal. talk social conversation. Hey, what do you do? Like, yeah. I, especially if she's driving around a really nice fucking car, she dresses well. People are gonna. I want to make money too. Hey, yeah. what do you do? And are you gonna be upset that she says, oh, I'm on OnlyFans? And how are your friends going to answer? You have to accept all that. That's yeah. You know, all that, of that comes with. Oh, it. Really? I mean, well, what, what's your oh, handle? So, that, do you have a QR code? <laughs> yeah, I mean, to to me, that, that's a lot to to like overcome. Pues, yeah. So again, let's just say not your not the current Mihani now. Yeah, we're like, just saying we're another, talking yeah, yeah, another no, Mihani. No. But like, let's just say she knows about her, us, right? Nos conoces. She knows what type of work we do. We la chingada. And if she was to send us an invitation, que no te diga ti. That's no, but that, then that's that. You're not saying something that's else. That's a tropello. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this guy's you, asking about something casual. That's yeah, a yeah. little get together. No, and someone goes, what do you that, do? I like, would have an issue with what like, you're saying. Como pagas el lotty. But then, pero eso ya es otro pedo. If I was yeah. to approach Fernie, it's like, hey, wait. Um, the, pero that's a whole other pedo, way. But would you tell him? Esta Jacinta me mandó esto. Would you tell him? I think, yeah, no, I would. Because there's people. I'm like, hey, um, I don't know what's up with this way. That, but that's what I'm saying. That that's a yes. That's some shady ass shit, way. That's fucking. There's more going on there, we Yeah. Yeah, eso es otro pedo. Yeah, eso es otro pedo. That's other pedo from I'm not, I don't about, think we. I'm that mature tampoco, we to be like, yeah, I'm cool with her sending my friends fucking uh, the private links to the right. fucking only fans. <laughs> yeah. I would hope she has more respect in that way, because I'm, I'm sure not all of the girls that are OnlyFans are like that, están descaradas. I, I, I can almost guarantee that there's some that understand that that's not good. <laughs> no, in no, another way, let's just say... Not your curve. The, the make believe me, huh? Right? She's starting this, but she's not like, I need to get more. Cause would you help her get uh, fucking followers? No, no, because she has to learn the business <laughs> way. <laughs> no, I mean it's, it's true way. It's true. Like, like there, there's something that that she can get that's gonna apply to other things that she starts if she learns how to market herself. Like, why would I help her doing that way when when she I, she can do that herself and she'll learn something that's gonna help her. I mean, if if I was able to get over all the the humps we're talking about, way, and she said, "Hey, bro, I'm fucking my you that's the fucking business." But at that point, it's a business. I'd probably be like, yeah, fuck that. By the way, what do you need? I mean, I could, I would help her with pictures and like editing and like stuff like that, but not like marketing. Like, let's well, it goes back to like when we started earlier, que, que that self made shit. No one's really self made. Nobody sells That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'd be okay, okay. Tu no sabes marketing, all right? I'll fucking help you. Not that I know marketing, but I'm saying in, in the fictional world we're talking about. You have to have strong emotional intelligence, right? Because at that point, if you're not gonna willing, you're not willing to help her. There's some dude that's willing to help her <laughs> edit the <laughs> I videos. Agree. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, have to, you're right. You're you, right. You have to be, some, you have to be mature enough to realize that. And and if you're doing it just because. She, she, you don't want her to go with somebody else. I mean, there's that insecurity that's not gonna, it's it's gonna fade but out. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, pinchi, si me pides ayuda, pues I'm gonna help you. I mean, the, if I got over all those humps, then I I think that hump of someone else is editing the pictures is like in the past already. Yeah, I, if I made it over everything else, way I'm not. That's not the thing I'm gonna be worried about. <laughs> y qué tal que te salga el tiro por la culata en el sentido like okay you get over all those emotional humps or all those things that stigma or whatever and then later on you know your partner comes back like hey no te yo no te importo because you're okay with this what's wrong with you you don't love me what? No, I, no? I, I think she would have to be really insecure for because there's right. a lot of women and men that if there's no kind of jealousy they feel that there's no love there because. Oh, they need to be jealous. There's people that are used to that life where yeah. that, that's just her insecurities coming out. Where like, really, do you think me being cool with this, me not caring about you because I'm not jealous? Like, that's a lot of relationships where if yeah. you come back right away with the no, no, Simon, my pedo. Fuck yeah! Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a test. Oh shit! Oh huh? Well, I'm supportive. No, nothing importo. Yeah. Uh, I don't no, know. Like, I don't know. Yeah. 
It's a it's a crazy question. Fucking it's a good for, conversation, for, especially for for Latinos that we're more. Uh, I don't know about maybe it's not just Latinos. No, I'm guys sure, in general. I'm sure there's people listening to this that are like, "Fuck that." Yeah, <laughs> no, these guys. What the fuck's wrong with these guys? Yeah. That's some bullshit. They talk. They, they give. They talk more head than they give. <laughs> what well, I mean, I the, the the opposite of those dudes that push their girls into that shit way. Yeah, I mean that's yeah that's borderline pimping your your girl. Right? Well, yeah, but I'm saying it's the opposite of the pinchy. No, fuck that. There's there's also another. Their fucking side of guys wake him. Oh yeah, for sure. Where that soft white. Yeah, we can make a lot of money, Mija. That soft white earned their belly show uh YouTube channel where he he sometimes he gets a lot of girls from Figueroa where like those girls that are just kind of on the tracks. And man, some of their stories. If you guys like want to kind of have a little bit more compassion for people, like that's a good watch on on uh, yeah. YouTube. Soft white underbelly because he interviews women that are like strung out on drugs, that are prostitutes, have been doing it since they were 15, 16. And some of these girls, man, the stories they have is fucking crazy, bro. Like the shit that they have to deal with with some of the pimps, like just customers. Like it's a rough fucking life for him. And that's why I, I never had a, I never bought a prostitute, and I never had to. The fucking the urge to like pay somebody for sex because of that fact, way I w- I don't know how I would be able to get a heart on, knowing that this poor girl fucking went through a lot of shit. Like I would just feel like a fucking dick, way. Yeah, but you didn't know that when you're eighteen or whatever, fucking. But for some reason, I never gravitated toward. No, oh. I did, I did, cause uh, I grew up thinking that sex was only a pleasure for the men, way. Like the way my dad, oh, would, that machismo, would kind of treat my mom. As a teenager, I struggled with 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 sexuality in that sense way that I thought that sex was only for the man because I, I just did I just didn't see the other side that it was pleasurable for women. So it took me a lot of time into my twenties to realize like, no way, like this isn't only for men way. Like you have to obviously you have to respect uh, somebody's uh, um, if they want to have sex with you or not. But I didn't get that concept way that that both enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was different way, so that was really hard for me to kind of figure out way. So I don't think I would have bought sex in my early twenties because I thought that it was just men getting pleasure out of it, so and I didn't want to subscribe to yeah. that. Um, which is stupid. Where that kept me out of fucking, you know, dating when I was a teen, losing my virginity. And not only that, but where you grew up, and like uh, that that little area was notorious. Long for Beach, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was a lot La Long Beach. That's a, even my mom would, would like when my sisters were kind of like in their teenage years. I had one of the sisters. One of my sisters was into like the quebradita scene, so she would dress a little bit more like with small spaghetti shirts and like tight pants. And I remember my mom would tell her like, "Hey, the." Not the vistas como las de la Long Beach. And so oh, then shit. as I got older, I'm like, wait, why do you tell my sister that? Like, that's not good parenting because I mean, you're you're basically telling that she looks like a prostitute, which yeah. is a way of parents to always kind of. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And the thing is, maybe they didn't use the right words, but I'm like, hey, look, look at the area that we're at. This area gets frequented by people. You're going to I don't want you getting harassed. That's basically it. Oh, Ramon's it's different defending wording. the parent, no. bro. No, no, no. Because it's just the wording. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just the wording. But sometimes mm. uh, those parents, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's Yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't that's know if that it. still happens now, but when we oh, were kids, no, for sure, I'm sure it does. That still happens? I'm sure it does. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist, right? but like as, as common as when we were kids, right? Because I remember they used to throw shit like that all the time to us, right? Like when we were growing up. Well, you got to understand this. Like we are a product or a version of our parents. And sometimes some of those things stay within us. In momentos no nos fijamos y we go with what we remember or what fucking we were told. Even like with police officers, there was a certain dynamic. Like for for me, it was, I remember a lot. Was like if you don't do this, that guy's gonna arrest you. Hey, si te sigues portando mal, este señor te va a robar. Yeah, some stranger, yeah. So what the fuck they expect? Where you're gonna be afraid of everything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I saw it. I like, ruled by fear, I, I bro. guess someone got put in that position. They're like, oh my God, it's my time to shine, you know? It's, uh, it's, I think it's a girl that she's at a store and, and this lady's with her kid and the kid's acting all bad. And the lady tells the kid, si sigues portando mal, esta señora te va a robar. And the girl's all like, oh my God, it's my time to shine. What do I do? So she turned around and looked at the kid and she just nodded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and the kids shut down all like, fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Community raising yeah, children. Yeah. Was that it a takes, fem- takes, Hey, but was that a female saying? Yeah. Because yeah, a guy, that's going to hit different. If yeah. a guy sees a little kid and it's like, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I know, man. It hits different, bro. A female can get away with that scare way. But a guy, we, we're talking about fucking the... 
the the one with Tiffany Haddish and the, that would turn into that kind oh, of skit. Oh yeah, no, no, that was that a, was crazy. Yeah, one. Area Spears or whatever. Yeah, that was a crazy. No, one. We, we can't be pulling that shit away. No, stay. don't don't be fucking doing that in public way. Now your moment to shine, telling the kid, hey. Hey, fuck <laughs> I, I think I would do it yeah, differently. No, don't, don't take your I moment. I don't think I would do that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I think I'd be like, oh, se está portando mal. A ver, deje, ahorita me lo llevo el cabrón. <laughs> <laughs> he went kid. for the Oscar. <laughs> yeah. And he's like a fly ready yeah. to fucking eat your uh, food, right? <laughs> wait. A ver, ¿cuál es el? ¿Cuál de cuál Just de go with the nod, wait. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, no, he, he wants to. I'm like, like, a ver, ¿cuál de estos? This is a fucking los performance. <laughs> Órale. Is, Ay, güey, ¿quieren los tres? Vámonos. <laughs> fucking. Fucking boot camp over here. Wait, this guy ni crema, güey. Es crema, nah. aguacate. This guy wants to go all out. Some okay. sazón. I'm on us. Fuck, Just, bro. Just I'm nod, way. Just do the nod. Just be like, yeah. <laughs> be like, fucking, tell him you're gonna get a knuckle sandwich. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Like, oh, yeah, you, you can't hit kids whoa, anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't hit kids anymore. Whoa. I'm not hitting them. This right here? What is that, I mean, is the word? it's the symbol, that, but I'm bro? not hitting them. I'm are we like, still talking hey, about okay, OnlyFans or are we talking about kids? Don't, don't, this kind of weird. Are you talking about your webbles again <laughs> slapping? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a very blurry line way. We're just uh, just go with the nod. Those noises. Just go with the nod. <laughs> just oh, nod with like. The, <laughs> uh, I mean, well, why is the parent putting me in this position? First of all, okay, then walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, but it takes a village, bro. Era lo era lo es. It takes. He wants to be part of passage. Wait, it's like, you know, fucking uh, later on. I mean, it kind of shows the kids. I'm like, hey, you can't trust strangers. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. It's a good lesson, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wear. Yeah, I don't know when. Ya estamos ya, güey, ¿no? Ya yeah. se acabó el sexo talk. Ya yeah, se acabó el pinche. Let your girls be on OnlyFans. No hagan the pedo. <laughs> Was that the lesson of the day, <laughs> Nah, nah. <laughs> I don't know, güey. That, that, that's a tough one, güey. <sighs> All right, man. Bueno, pues, Razam. That's another episode of The Shuffle. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the Patreon uh, joining us on YouTube. Always remember, if you guys want to help out and want to be part of this, you know, the, I guess, the live recording as it's going, like, and you can join us. You can support us. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you could share the podcast. Hey, dude, we never got uh, Becca's fucking birthday. Oh, Fernie, pásame el libro. Porfa, ahí está detrás. All right, Becca. She's one of the... Yeah. Uh, Wait, she's even still there. She's <laughs> one of our true supporters. All right. Yeah, fue... When's her birthday? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I know. I already looked it up. Oh, you already have it? Wow. Fucking... See? People Ramon, find everything with... Ramon's got the address and everything. Hey, Becca, Social, be careful. I was. Well, he's stealing your identity. Be careful. I, uh -huh. I hope you don't have good credit. Hey, if you see a charge at La Curacao for a fucking... Uh, what, you you see a charge TV at the fucking something with the... And some fucking audio, a car audio. Something that sounds like a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> It's, hum, just, it, it, it's not Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This was for Becca. I don't know how to roll it. No, I said to. All right. Those Perdón, born man. on this day have vivid imaginations like excitement, want to be at the center of what's going on, and feel that they must play an important social role. However, the sensuous and pleasure loving nature often holds them back. Finding their proper place in the world is the utmost importance to them. And while it should be, since career is an area in which difficulties abound <laughs> for people. In fact, they might have to change jobs with regularity until they find the occupation for which they are best suited. Regardless of career, the bottom line for those born on this day is social involvement, for they are highly averse to isolated lifestyle. Their fate is in intimately tied up with one of their fellow human beings so much that they may perform well in the role of group or personal representative. Wow. All right. All right. Becca, your strengths are charming, accepting, and secure. Your weaknesses. Uh, sorry. Your weaknesses. <laughs> I kind of gave up in the middle right there. I know. You gave up from the start. When Complacent, <laughs> passive, and stuck. All right. Wow. Oh. That sounds. I know. This the, one of them says you got to move on. Yeah. You got to have these different jobs. And then the other one says that you're stuck. Damn, like, that's fucking fuck? confusing, man. That's confusing as fucking book is this, man? All right, so the advice. <laughs> beware of self-satisfaction. Put yourself a bit... Push Whoa. yourself a bit more. Avoid problems should not mean avoiding challenges. Seek to improve yourself daily. Desire is part of living. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. 
meditation, TV is an electronic attempt at telepathy. Holy shit. Holy shit I man. don't know what that means, but... Do you want to give, right. give her some, some fucking penance? Way to yeah, Eleanor Roosevelt five was Hail Marys your, or something on your birthday. And who else? Something about uh, Sir George Williams, British social performer, YMCA founder. Wait, it's not like just Justice just Gunners. Just close the book. I'm yeah. just I'm trying to read. It's <laughs> like my, my, my glasses are dirty. That's it. Oh, okay. is that So I'm trying okay. to like find an angle. Is that why? Sancho Reyes the Magnum. Sancho Reyes con lágrimas de mi chorizo. Lágrimas de someone's chorizo. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> not your chorizo. Somebody put a target in your forehead, yeah, bro. A little, a little fucking cloudy. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said this is a money shot right here. Palos, eh? The silver okay, fox. They, 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 <laughs> the silver fox. Is the fox. prima visiting way? It's, it's the, the fucking, it's the specs kink. I got, I got fucking, <laughs> I got dibs on the silver fox's chin right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, ¿dónde están los right. músicos? Oh, ahora si quieres músicos, cabrón. Yeah, yeah, no, because Esteban me recordó, gracias. No, sorry, Becca. Yeah. Um, it was a little, I don't think your effort was there. We're according to Fernando. No. My, you know, <laughs> Sound pretty I had foggy glasses. They're a little. No, 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 no. I wish I had a violin right now. <laughs> I had to play the, I don't know where it was. My sympathy. Bueno, pues, thank you for everybody listening. Um, hey, it's a little bit cold now. So why don't you order yourself a cafecito from Istasa? You know, go to our. Uh, Uy. You know, go to Chicano, Chicano Shuffle Link. And you will find the Estasa page right there. It will direct you. You can see los cafecitos que tenemos. Pongan su orden. Fucking. Ya vienen the holidays. Ya viene pinche Thanksgiving. Ya viene Navidad. El Año Nuevo. Día de la Guadalupana. Fucking. Se pueden también para Guadalupe Reyes. All the good stuff are coming. We got no evidence or no studies or anything, way, but I heard it makes it last a little longer, way. Yes, it does. I mean, I work. What are you talking about? I mean, it's, <laughs> you're putting in work, bro. <laughs> you're putting in that work. Don't start off doggy style, guys. Uh-uh. <laughs> and you must have control if you're if, if you like fucking. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, it's a mature if you're quick, and let loose if control. You're, if you're quick to the trigger, you must have a little bit of the control at first until you kind of like, you know, fucking yeah. adjust it. Right. Humble yourself, champ. I know. <laughs> you know, and it's okay to you know slow it down. It's okay to switch it off. But como dice Esteban, make sure that she's taken care of. And, and like Esteban says, way don't practice a sprint. Practice the <laughs> <It's> marathon. A <laughs> marathon. <laughs> when you uh, practice, think marathon, not holy sprint. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Pobrecitas. Man. Although you could have those uh, those midday sprints. Those are not nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, is that? Well, that's not. Yeah. Well, okay, all right. Yeah, midday sprints are pretty good. But también si quieres un cafecito to help you out, yeah. Hey, yes. fucking little energy, bro. Hey, después, antes, lo que quieran. Fucking pinche cafecito sale chingón ahorita. Luego más con el frío y pinche sus San Marcos y un pinche panecito al lado. Wow, you just added a lot to Fuck that way. Yeah. All, All right. right. And um, uh, we also have merch at our website. Right now, como ya viene el frío también, we got some sweaters there. Again, you know. To promote the podcast and only that, but you know, you look all fucking feed me and chingon or chingona with it. You know, they'll be like, hey, what's that? What's Chicano Show for you? You're like, perfect example. It's a podcast that I listen to. You should check them out. Besides, they give you sex tips. Yeah. You know, sex o pisto y marihuana, bro. Oh, y café, wey. Y café, sorry. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Y con eso, pues, un chingo de gracias y pa' la próxima. A ratos with that, eh?
shit. Am I grito? Fucking. Fucking, <laughs> 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 I don't know, but my grito, we need uh, calentones now. <laughs> calentones and a couple boxes of condoms. There we go. <laughs> Pero de los regular chicos. size, regular yeah, size. Oh, regular? Yeah, regular size. Yeah, oh, aquí no presumimos <laughs> nada. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to ask you, Spantan. 